Hey, good morning world and welcome to Ruirwa sub county in Kiambu County uh, in Kenya, this amazing place that sits in the greater Nairobi metropolitan region according to the 2019 census, uh, that is the national census in Kenya. Ruiru is the fourth largest urban center in Kenya by population. In Kikuyu dialect they say Ruiru means uh, a place with black cotton soil and indeed it's the black cotton soil as you witness in the photos and images on your screens at the moment as we bring you the national cross country championships that begin today but however uh, we pitch camp here at the Ruiru prison staff training college for the national cross country championships which act as the trials for the world cross country championships which will be held in Belgrade, Serbia on 30th of this month and it will be the 45th edition of the world cross country championship welcome aboard of course and initially yeah, as a matter of fact, the games were supposed to be held in Croatia, but due to poor preparations and lack of commitment from the Croatia government, they were pushed to Serbia. And now, today, we'll be witnessing uh, a team that will be selected to represent the country, of course, in the World Cross Country Championships. And of course, we'll be bringing you each and every action right here. So wherever you are, welcome aboard, and it is live here from the prison staff training college in Ruiru, just out in the out, outskirts of Nairobi. So uh, watch out for today's action, including the under 20 kilometer uh, race, and of course the six kilometer junior women race that is just underway. We also look forward to having the eight kilometers junior men and women race, and of course the 10 kilometer senior men and women. There'll be the four by two mixed relay later on, and watch out for great names here, including the likes of Beatrice Chebet. But right now on your screen is the six kilometers kilometers junior women race that has just begun and of course i'm in the company of steve ayo taking you through each and every action right here in ruiru steve how have you been all good man um and good morning to all our viewers uh, across the country across the world indeed um uh, this is the national cross country championships uh, the 2020 uh, for edition uh, like Greg has mentioned this is in preparation for the world cross country championships that's happening in Serbia later in the year um, yeah very good um, morning really here uh, I think the weather is uh, pretty much perfect it's a bit windy uh, but the the sun is slightly out there uh, it's a bit cloudy as well it's really a mixed weather um, you know which sets us up for a, a great day ahead really um, remember this is one uh, it's really a breeding ground for our future world champions, future Olympic uh, champions. We've seen the likes of uh, Paul Terga, they've made a name for me, Vivian Cheruyot, Helen Obiri, um, a few Ethiopians like Ken and Isabel uh, Bekele. These are athletes who have come to make history across the world, winning, winning multiple world championships and multiple Olympic uh, titles. So, you know, it may look like um, a small event in, as far as Kenya is concerned, but um, eventually along the way, this is one of the biggest events really in the world. And it is considered actually one of the toughest races. Some see it as tougher than even the Olympics, tougher than the World Championships, because um, at least when you go to the uh, World Championships, um, athletes are divided into 3,000 meters triple chase, uh, 5,000 meters, 10,000 meters. But here it's all a mix of everyone really. They bring all the athletes together here. So uh, we expect a lot of competition. It's always been competitive, uh, especially as far as uh, the East African um, region is concerned. Uh, remember that Kenya and Ethiopia uh, keep dominating uh, uh, these races uh, since uh, inception. So we expect a very competitive uh, race today, um, uh, given that uh, there's so much more in store uh, for the rest of the year, Greg. 
and just looking at the course very interesting to see a few additions in this uh, course that will be uh, hosting uh, quite a number of events of course uh, underway is the six kilometers under 20 women and uh, we have a uh, rich field of athletes here at the Ruiru uh, Prison Staff Training College where we have the likes of uh, Sheila Chepngen, Olina Chebet, Lucy, Regina, all representing the central region but also the focus is on the Nairobi region with the likes of Ma Miriam Chepkirui, Monica Nyateti, Naomi Chemtai, Fancy Chep Korir, Isika Chelangat, um, also from North Rift we have the likes of Alice Jemutai, Domilia Jeruto, Dorothy Jerop, uh, Martha Chep Korir, Vivian Chepkus um, from South and we'll have the likes of Deborah Jemutai, Diana Chepkemoy, Judy Kemunto and of course Catherine Mutinda just to name but a few and then we'll be looking at uh, Western Region where we have Nancy Charob, Dorcas Chepkemoy, uh, Janet Chepkoech of Western Region and of course uh, from Central Rift Region we'll have the likes of Sheila Chebet so close to 85 uh, juniors trying out in the six kilometers under 20 women so Welcome aboard as we see, watch and witness these athletes try out, of course, being the early days of the season. Many of these athletes use this as a pre-season, uh, gearing up for the many, many events that will be coming up later on in the year, including the, uh, the Paris 2024 Olympics that come um, sometime in August. Also, we have the All-Africa Games that will begin in just a few weeks' time as we see the athletes completing the first first uh, lap of this six kilometer race still close call there looking at this one two laps to go in this one and it is the six kilometers juniors and you can see it's a, a pack full of athletes nothing to separate them and that tells you the competitiveness that is in this one yeah absolutely you can see uh, there's, there's a lot of competition uh, the athletes are packed up together uh, really there's not so much distance between um, really you can't say who's really on the top uh, they're all pretty much uh, running uh, in, in parallel at least the first two uh, three top athletes and with just two kilometers to go really uh, this is where uh, you can establish your lead uh, it's a very tough course uh, remember that um, you know they, 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 there's a very muddy area as well so you need a lot of um, endurance uh, on the race so it's not just about speed it's about just how you can keep it all together um, you can see some some athletes have really uh, dropped um, back uh, like uh, two three hundred meters behind so that just tells you that uh, it's not really um, a competition for everyone, but this is where you really get to test yourself with uh, some of the best athletes uh, in the country. Um, some of the best athletes who go on, you know, and, and win world championships and win Olympic titles. Um, so, you know, just one more lap to go uh, when they come uh, back to the to the starting um, starting lane. Um, and remember that uh, you, we have a lot of other um, races lined up for the day. Uh, we have the senior men's and the senior women's race also uh, coming up uh, later in the day. So uh, keep 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 um, keep yourself tuned. Uh, keep yourself tuned. Uh, we will be sharing with you the the, the list as well uh, in terms of who is in the competition. Uh, and um, as we look f um, into the rest of the day, Greg, um, I, I do believe that it's going to be ever so competitive. Okay, you just said it ever so competitive, but you can see it's now getting hotter and hotter as they head into the last two laps of this six kilometers under 20 women race that kicks off the day here at the Kenya Prison Training Staff. Uh, Kenya St uh, Prison Staff Training College here in Ruiru and of course it's the National Cross Country Championships come the trials for the World Cross Country Championships to be held on the 30th in Belgrade in Serbia so if you're joining us of course there's plenty of action lined up today t uh, from the AM to the PM and we'll be bringing you each and every uh, bit of action telling you every juicy stories that will be coming out of this place so if you're joining us this is the National Cross Country Championships 2024. Remember, uh, previously, uh, then uh, they could have been held earlier on, but then um, the failure of Croatia to comply, or rather, get ready for uh, to host the event, made sh made it is hard uh, for the World Athletics Championships to do something. And uh, of course, what they did is uh, postpone the event to 30th, and it will be held in the Serbia. And this gives an opportunity for some of these athletes, maybe those who hadn't really prepared well, to try and see if they can 
actually get the timings and represent the country. Remember, we've dominated uh, these races for quite, quite a while, winning the, winning the overall title, winning the uh, women title. Remember, Beatrice Chebet. Uh, storming to victory in Bathurst, Australia last year, that is 2023, showing a, pr a prowess over the distance and we'll be looking forward to see what she's able to do here and uh, if it's possible we'll get a few interviews from Charity Wanja who's also on the finish line, she's be, she'll be telling us everything that we need to know but uh, on your screen at the moment is the 6 kilometers under 20 women. And of course, if you're joining us, just to take you through some of the results from the World Championships last year, the World Cross Country Championships that were held uh, in Bad House, Australia. Um, not really. Uh, we'll be giving you those results, but uh, just a recap of what happened last year here in Ruiru. I remember it was a very, 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 very chilly morning on the day that we also witnessed a tree planting session for, by the government of Kenya led by uh, the CS sports honorable babu namwamba so uh in last year's national championships ruth chepnetich the home girl from kenya prisons tore the field apart to win the 10 kilometers uh women race and she also led her team in to uh, claiming the uh, relay title and that made sure that everyone here at the prison staff training college stood on their feet and witnessed a very good spectacle so we'll be waiting to see if the, the home team that knows this track very very well will be able to uh, replicate what Ruth Chepnetich did last year remember Chepnetich is a 2019 world marathon champion so um, in the senior men's race last year Charles Lockyer quite unknown made the headlines by claiming the title ahead of Isaac Kibet and Dennis Kipnetich and the under 20 race was won by Masi Sang followed by two Miriams that is Miriam Chepkiru and Miriam Chemtai and uh, of course the under 20 men race was won by Samuel Kibati Japan based and Simon, uh, Simeon Maina and Shadrach Rono. In the junior men of course we had Ishmael Kiruyu winning, Reynold Chariot coming in second at Borki uh, uh, and Reno Chariot, of course. Um, those are some of the results that uh, we had from last year, and that tells you that this year we promise to see something spectacular as the athletes come into the last uh, lap of this six kilometers under 20 women. And you can see now it's been separated to six, uh, to seven, and South Rift in the lead. Uh, uh, South Rift, three athletes in the leading pack, and. Uh, it's North Rift in the lead and of course Western coming close by. So it's a battle between Western, uh, South Rift and of course North Rift. And this is quite interesting. You can see the pace increasing and you can see these athletes are trying really hard to ensure that they keep up with that pace. And it's something that that's really interesting. Nothing much to separate but South Rift having three athletes in the lead uh, still. Yeah, that just shows you um, how competitive really uh, the South Rift are as far as athletics are concerned. Um, there are only five athletes really at the top as you go into uh, the finishing um, beats really of this race. As I am trying to look at it, this is bib number 461, 345 and 348. Um, 561 here happens to be... Uh, sorry, I can't just see that, but there's 348 here. This is uh, from South Rift, Masi Chepkemoi and Sharon Chepkemoi as well. So uh, the two Chepkemois really are uh, uh, chasing for the title here. Um, it's, it's really getting close as we edge closer to the finish line. Um, and like Greg has said, really, it looks like um, the title is going to South Rift. And um, it's a very competitive field here with um, uh, jo Joylin Chepkemoi from Central Rift um, among the competitors here. She was um, fourth really at the World Championships uh, last year, if I remember well. Um, Gregory, I don't know whether you want to take us through the, the, the final bits of this race. 
Of course, we'll be waiting to see who reigns supreme between North Rift, uh, South Rift, with three athletes in the front, Western also coming in through, and of course, um, um, we'll have a, we have an athlete from. Um, Nairobi region also there. I'm talking about Chep Kirui. But then let's wait and see as we head into the last lap of these six kilometers under 20 women. Remember, we are underway here at the Kenya Prison Staff Training College in Rueru. And this is the first race of the day, the six kilometers under 20 women. And you can see them, of course, some tired legs out there because those who had prepared well for these ones will, of course, be cha challenging for the top of uh, corners. And... Uh, Quite some excitement here because you look at uh, the turnout has been great, especially these early hours of the morning. It's uh, like quarter past 9 a.m. here in uh, Nairobi. And this is the 6 kilometers under 20 um, women race that is underway. And of course, after this, we'll be heading over to the finish line and we'll be seeing what's uh, going to transpire there. Just passing by is an athlete from south and trying really hard to catch up with the rest i can tell you there are so many tired legs out there being a, a, a morning with the dew and the mud and of course the course with having some tricky uh, tricky 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 barriers of course there is a there is, there, there is a hill there are some tires that will help them uh, of course uh, jump through and of course uh, quite some improvement from last season's uh, uh, last year's, uh, um, I can call it last year's cause that had a puddle, a, a, a puddle of water. Then there was a there was a hill, and then there was uh, there was some hay. And of course, this year they've added some tires to make sure that it's better and, of course, uh, up to the standards of the world uh, athletics. And something interesting that comes out is that this is a bronze event. It means that. We can also have athletes from other countries coming to compete in the national championships. Uh, definitely. Um, and if I was an athlete, for especially from neighboring countries, uh, countries really, um, and this uh, competition is open uh, for registration, uh, I would definitely want to come here because, um, you know, we know Kenya is one of the uh, leading nations really as far as athletics is concerned and this is where you get really the very best um, as far as um, um, this happens really so if I was from neighboring countries and I want to uh, really uh, test myself against the world's best then this is uh, some place that I will come uh, to definitely and you know uh, given that the weather really um, with the high altitude um, weather of even this place really um, I think it really prepares you for uh, conquering the world out there um, so yeah um, and not just really from neighboring countries um, if you have the, the resources really to travel from um, across the world then I would definitely come come here because um, uh, this is really a breeding ground for future uh, Olympiads uh, f uh, future world champions um, as we see uh, the, like I think the pace has just gone down a bit now uh, the, 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 the athletes injected some pace I think with like some two more laps to go but now you can see that it's a bit more controlled right now and you can see also on the sides um, the people you are seeing there they just uh, from race control and also uh, some of the coaches in there are uh, just to try and um, you know push the athletes and um, this is where now uh, it becomes a bit more tactical um, this is where now you have to uh, you have to really step up the game um, as, as we hear the northeastern and, and the south rift really, really it's really um, a battle between south rift and, and, um, and northeastern really uh, we, which is a bit strange northeastern we don't we don't get to hear a lot of athletes from from that area let me <laughs> it is uh, <laughs> it's 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 is uh, not uh, no, no, not rift uh, ac actually northeastern barely make it to these stages and you can see it is uh, shaping up into a three person um uh, race and south rift of course they had three in the in the leading pack and of course right now we are seeing it's getting hotter right now it is south rift in the lead and we'll be trying to check to see what's 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 happening down there heading into the home stretch it's central rift coming to take this home and it is south rift in second place and of course north rift in third and that signals the end as she goes to cross over 
to claim the six kilometers under 20 women. It is South Central Rift and of course Western coming in second and third. It's South Rift and that's been amazing. And you can see, I told you, when we shift gears, then it becomes really, really hard to see um, the difference between these athletes because South Rift were leading towards the last um, kilometer, but then it was Central Rift and um, of course Western who came in uh, second and third. That shows you that it was going to be very, very close, but that signals the end of the that is signals the end of the six kilometers under 20 women and of course we'll be waiting to see and hear what um, charity has to say about the race and of course interview the winner of the six kilometers under 20 women race so charity if you can hear me from the other side Yeah, very, very, very uh, competitive race, um, though you could see that with the, the last uh, 500 meters to go, it was really a battle between two athletes, and if I'm not wrong, it has been won by uh, Deborah Chemutai from uh, South Rift, uh, Deborah who trains in Keringet area. Um, I born in, in, in 2005, so you know, these are some very, very young athletes actually. Uh, I think 2005 happens to be the cutoff age uh, for this competition. Uh, and Bora Chimotai, if I'm not wrong, has really uh, won this, has put herself um, in the winners, has been given the winners' medal as we wait for uh, charity just to. Uh, grab the winner of this race and the uh, athletes who's finished in, in second um, But a very good way really to start the morning are uh, very competitive here uh, very very young athletes here uh, Who of course are trying to use uh, this competition as a stepping stone into the rest of uh, their careers um, So this way it really starts uh, for most of these athletes. Um, I, I remember there's always this uh, very famous photo of um, uh, Faith um, uh, Faith Kipiegon uh, on barefoot, uh, very young looking. I think she looked like she was under 16, in fact, uh, with mud on her f uh, on her feet. Um, you know, doing it barefoot. I think that's one of the, the the best photos. You know, that if you want to really ask yourself how it all begins, then you really just have to uh, give reference to that photo. And I think for most of these athletes, uh, Faith Kipiogon being the athlete that she has, the best athlete we have actually in the world right now, the best female athlete we have in the world right now, um, I'm sure that a lot of these young athletes normally look up to her. And when they see that photo, it tells them that this is where it starts. You know, it's only a matter of time and you can also be a world champion. You can also be an Olympic champion. You can win the Diamond League races. Actually, you can make a great, great life out of this um, career, Mulemi. And it all begins here, of course, the National Cross Country Championships. And talk about Faith Keep You Gone. I remember, I think that was in 2015 when she won uh, the, the World Junior Cross Country Championships. And uh, that shows you that these championships here propel stars, make stars, and make sure that everything that is happening here shapes their future. And you see everyone who comes out of this uh, triumphantly, maybe uh, don the national team colors, goes ahead and um, uh, makes a cut and becomes a huge, huge, huge name uh, in the uh, athletics world. Look at the likes of Geoffrey Camoro, finish, finished fourth last year in uh, Bathurst, Australia, just be behind the likes of Jacob Kiplimo and, of course, um, uh, the likes of Jacob Kiplimo and um, um, uh, Bennett Arigawi and Joshua Cheptegai. That was the men's under 20 kilometer senior men's race last year. And you can see the dominance uh, Kamoro has had over the cross country in the, in, the, in, 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 in the last few years. It shows you that anyone who comes here knows that this is an opportunity to actually go and conquer the world. And as they, and as they say, rather, um, 
the, the, the cross country is normally used by most of these athletes to test their speed and endurance because it's more like the, 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 the beginning of the season. Most of these races are, are done earlier on in the season. Uh, most of them are done to ensure that um, everything is in shape as they head into the season. But uh, as we see some of the athletes uh, making sure that they finish um, the races because mo uh, um, most of them are trying out for the first time. And of course, we'll be heading over to charity uh, to talk to the winner of the six kilometers under 20 women. So, Sheila, congratulations. Umeza kuangalia hivi. Umeza kukata tikiti yako ya kuenda world cross country. Unafeel aje? Unafeel poa. So, uliku umejitarisha vipi? Iliku nimetarisha vizuri. Nimekua train. Nime train. Sijaenda off. Nimekua to train. Eh. Na hapa locally umeshinda mbio katha, pengine utu ambie gani na gaye? Asijai shinda, nili utu. Logo nilikuwa number three. Oh, haa. Eh, hapo ndo nilipata more, nikasema, hacha nire ni chikaze kwa mazoezi. Eh. At least ni ingie top six, hapa, national. Eh. Eh. Okay. Congratulations and thank you. That was Sheila Jebet. She's an 18 year old athlete. She's just booked her ticket for the World Cross Country Championship. She'll be racing in the under 20 category. Over to you, Greg. Thank you, Charity. Thank you very much for that interview. And of course, we are back here for. We're getting ready for the second uh, piece of action and uh, we'll be waiting for this race to finish. <laughs> you know, they say speed is never the same. <laughs> no, it, it can never be the same. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's really tough, you know, um, for, for these athletes, uh, especially if you come to a field where um, you have athletes who uh, have trained for this, um, uh, they, they have the, the right competition next to them, they have the right uh, sort of uh, structures next to them. Um, so uh, that's why you find that um, there are athletes who finish uh, pretty early enough or just uh, in good time, but then, you know, you have athletes who... Uh, they, 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 ha they are lapped like maybe twice or even uh, sometimes three times and um, you know it, it's really part of the process um, the first time you may find it really difficult um, you, you get lapped once or twice the next time you improve so uh, for them I think it's more of time sometimes uh, you know just improving uh, your times today you know just consistently being there and consistently just uh, putting in the effort um, so yeah as long as you keep doing it uh, you get better on it uh, of course and like we said this is one of the toughest stresses really uh, because you get to compete with the uh, future world champions uh, future Olympic champions and this is actually where you also test yourself and uh, just show yourself uh, what you are capable of Mulemi. And of course, uh, this just reminds me that just a couple of weeks ago, we had the Sirikwa uh, Classic um, that was held uh, in at the Lobo village in uh, Eldoret. And of course, we saw uh, the big stars making their mark, the likes of Emmanuel Wanyonyi. And of course, uh, looking forward to the two kilometers mixed relay. And, uh, I'm looking at uh, these athletes that uh, also made headlines um, last year. Emmanuel Wanyoni, of course, and um, Reynold Chariot, um, the reigning world under 20, 1,500 meters champion. She, he's, he'll also be in the mix here today. We'll be waiting, waiting to see what he's capable of doing. But headlining the two kilometer race, of course, will be Abel Kipsang. And of course, uh, he'll be hoping to make a cut into the national cross country team to be uh, to, to represent the country at the world at uh, the world uh, cross country championships in Serbia. Um, also today, um, I've talked about Emmanuel Wanyoni. Um, uh, after the exploits of Sirikwa Classic, uh, is, is, is a man to watch in the two kilometers, and of course there we'll have the likes of Kimba Munguti and uh, Keeping a Teaching Eno. Um, in the women two kilometer race, which will be the last of the day, uh, um, we'll have uh, the likes of Miram Cherop, who will headline the, that strong field. Former world under 21,500 meters champion Purity Chep Kirui uh, is also in the mix. And uh, she did well at the Sirikwa Classic, so we'll be waiting to see what she's capable of doing uh, in this one. Lillian Kasait um, seeking redemption after a very, very, very poor show at the Sirikwa Classic. And... Uh, of course, in the women 10 kilometer, uh, 
uh, we'll be looking at Agnes Jebet, uh, who's confirmed her participation in this one, and she'll be up against the Kenya Defence Forces duo of Joycelyn, Joycelyn Chepkoski and Sheila Chepkirui, who have been dominating uh, the roads for quite a while. Also, the reigning World Cross Country Champion Beatrice Chebet, who's had a very, very good rest, uh, she'll be uh, here today to see if she can try and um, do what she did in Bathurst, Australia last year by claiming the world and a team.
mwandishi wa mkuu wa kitengo hiki cha utangazaji bwana Steven Mwaneki. Basi kwa sasa uh, katika sehemu ya quorum uh, this is a final call for the 8 km under 20 junior men wanahitajika sasa waelekee katika sehemu ya kuanzia ama watoke katika sehemu hiyo waelekee kule quorum na ningependa tu pia kuweza kutangaza uh, wale wageni ambao wataelekea kuanzia shindano hilo katika 8 km junior men under 20 uh, tunamuomba kwa heshima senior vice president wa chama cha riadha nchini bwana Paul Mutui ukubali kwenda kuanzisha shindano hilo ukisindikizwa na mwenyekiti wa chama cha riadha katika idara ya magereza ambaye ni senior assistant commissioner general prisons uh, bwana Nicholas Maswai kwa hivyo tuliomba kwa sasa ni wakati wa senior vice president bwana Paul Mutui waweze kuanzisha shindano la 8 km junior uh, kisindikizwa na mwenyekiti wa chama cha riadha katika idara ya magereza ambaye ni senior assistant commissioner general prisons bwana Nicholas Maswai kwa hivyo ndio kwa sasa kipindi ndio hicho shindano hilo linaanza saa tatu na dakika 40 kwa hivyo tugeomba wale ambao wanahusika na kule sehemu ya quorum wanariadha hao sasa wanatakana wao wameondoka kule koru wanaelekea sehemu ya kuanzia koru manager tupadali wanariadha waelekee madake mgeni wetu senior vice president anaelekea sehemu ya kuanzia kwa hivyo koru manager shindano linaanza saa tatu na dakika 40 manager wanariadha wanahitajika sehemu ya kuanzia waweza kuona senior vice president akielekea sehemu ya kuanzia kwa hivyo koru manager can you release the athletes to go to the starting point shindano linaanza saa tatu dakika 40 na sasa ni saa tatu sasa ni saa tatu na dakika 37 you have 3 minutes kwa hivyo koru manager bwana Chelanga na wenzako wanariadha waelekee sehemu ya kuanzia basi kwenda kuanzia shindano hilo ni senior vice president wa chama cha riadha nchini bwana Paul Mutui akisindikizwa na mwenyekiti wa chama cha riadha katika idara ya magereza ambaye ni senior assistant commissioner general of prisons bwana Nicholas Maswai ambaye ameelekea kwenye shindano hilo ambalo linapangiwa kuanza saa tatu na dakika 40 na sasa tunasalia na kama dakika chache kabisa dakika mbili hivi Eh, shindano hilo kuweza kuanza wale ambao wako katika barabara ambayo tunatumia mnaweza kuondoka manake shindano hilo wakati wote kuanzia sasa dakika mbili eh, shindano hilo linaweza kuanzishwa Uh, seeing who will reign triumph in this one and if you're joining us of course uh, we are live from uh, Ruiru uh, the prison staff training college where we'll be bringing you every bit of action on this day it is the national cross country championships 2024 uh, with the aim of also selecting a team to represent the country at the world cross country championships to be held on 30th of march in uh, belgrade in serbia so this is the 
8 kilometers men under 20 cross country race that just begins in a bit so you wait for the start of this one of course we'll be giving you every bit of action here look at the level of competition in this one you are sure that no one is uh, ready to let this go and there we go the start of the eight kilometer race and of course they'll be doing at least four laps of this one on this beautiful course here at the prison staff training college in Ruiru and you can see at least from the coast region eastern region south rift north rift western nyanza north nyanza south all in action here at the kenya's prison staff training college in Ruiru and of course plenty of expectations Steve. Yeah absolutely uh, Greg we expect another very competitive race here uh, of course uh, you'll always look at um, uh, especially competition uh, between Central Rift and uh, North Rift region um, and of course South Rift uh, region um, really it's always not so easy to predict but um, you'll always find that athletes from one of those uh, four regions um, obviously finishing in the podium um, just to mention maybe some of the athletes that um, are on the field uh, we have Dennis Mutuku from South Southern region and Nelson Mappy who both train uh, in Ndumbi training area uh, we also have Shadra Krono and Emmanuel Egon from uh, South Rift region who train both train in Silibuet uh, from the North Rift we have Maiwa Simon and we have also Johanna Erot who train in Sioi um, and also we have here Kelvin Mudoni and Joseph Ntimama from CZ that is athletes from Nairobi region um, and also just of course to uh, welcome um, our online community those who are following us on social media uh, we are following uh, your comments um, uh, Christine Bova says he has seen many talents and congratulations to them of course uh, him talking about uh, they just concluded um, six kilometer under 20 women uh, we also have um, Mark Chepchumba uh, saying congratulations uh, Nancy uh, who won the previous race um, and Benson Lingokal um, is saying Peter Sane congratulations uh, to her uh, and then we also have a comment here from um, just uh, trying to find it here um, uh, we also have a comment here from from Patrick Ngwaku Ngwatu is saying all the best to all the athletes so uh, we really thank everyone who's uh, tuning in uh, via social media via the Facebook link that uh, that's been provided um, and yeah just another very very competitive race we expect here for the men's um, eight kilometer under 20 uh, race um, here in Ruiru uh, and of course remember that the, the first um, the, the athletes here will be gunning for uh, to qualify for the world and uh, for the world athletics cross country championships that's happening in Belgrade in Serbia on the 30th of March and like we've said this is a breeding ground really for future world champions uh, future um, Olympic champions really and we have a, a very competitive field here today uh, we have senior athletes as well who have come here today just basically to test their speeds and uh, uh, really build up to, uh, towards a very uh, busy athletics calendar Yeah, and of course, we'll be looking for the defending champion Samuel Kibati Wanjiru is also in the mix, and uh, we'll be looking forward to see what he's able to do. And will he replicate what he did last season? Um, we are looking also for uh, Evans Kipkos Gay, also representing the university. So, uh, Samuel Kibati Wanjiru did uh, some amazing jobs last time, and 
and we saw what he was able to do and is here trying out. We'll be looking forward to see what he's doing is in bib number 437. These are just some of the athletes that we'll be looking forward to remember. Remember there are plenty of athletes here and been talking about Samuel Kibati Wanjiru, a very brilliant athlete that is in the lineup and uh, as you wait for, for the athletes to come Uh, Brian Kiptarus of the universities, Daniel Kiok of South Region, Shadrach Ron, of course, some of the, these athletes that uh, will be looking forward to see what they are capable of doing, and that is the leading pack with, of course, Shadrach Ron in the lead at the moment. Um, Shadrach Ron representing South Reef Region, who are very, very good in this cross country uh, races, and they've shown their prowess here. We saw them finish second in the six kilometers under 20 um, women race, and that's the first lap of the under 28 kilometer race with Shadrach Ron in the lead at the moment. Yeah, it's a leading pack really made of South Rift uh, region athletes. Uh, Shadra Krono uh, is in there. Dennis Mutuku, uh, bib number 431, is also just among uh, the top uh, 10 athletes there. We also have uh, Daniel, Kinya, Daniel Kinyanjui also on bib number 425. Um, um, so we have really the South Rift uh, team really, really um, putting their the head and shoulders really um, above the rest here, um, but it's still early really in the race. Uh, we do expect some changes, but uh, um, I don't I don't really um, uh, see really this title going anywhere else uh, other than South Rift uh, Mulemi. But uh, yeah, as we see, um, still Shadrach Rono really, bib number 430 here, I think he's decided really to lead from the front here and just run from the front and control this race. Uh, some athletes always uh, love, of course, doing that front running. They just want to uh, keep themselves away from trouble. Of course, if you are leading uh, a group of athletes, uh, then that means... Um, uh, if you are not in the crowd, then you can pick where you are stepping on, and I think that is uh, the, the the strategy that Shadda Krono uh, is has employed here, Mulemi. And of course, the course makes it even better because you look at uh, the hilly area, uh, the flat surface, and of course uh, the barriers that are there, the puddle of mud makes it even interesting to see how they tackle it. And it's all about experience and endurance on, and how well you are able to tackle all those uh, obstacles towards winning and uh, realizing your ambitions. And I think uh, these boys, the under 20 kilometer uh, race uh, participants are looking forward to uh, getting the best out of this but I'm looking at the course today uh, the hilly area quite challenging um, if you're not well prepared for this then it becomes uh, very, really really difficult for you to uh, get what you need there and as you can see the athletes now heading downhill um, in the flat surface and trying so much to keep pace with each other. Nothing much separates the athletes at the moment and you can feel that um, it is a race that is slowly taking shape. Um, the first uh, lot of course, uh, close to nine athletes in that one and that shows you that uh, everyone that came here was well prepared. We'll be seeing a few changes in the lead at the moment. Um, it's still Rono, uh, still battling it out there. Um, slight, his uh, Rono falls into third place, and that shows you that when the second lap elapses, we'll be looking forward to seeing who's taking the lead and control of matters as they take the course towards the hilly area. Very beautiful scenes there here in Ruiru, and you can see the pace is quite steady. If you're joining us, of course, this is the under 28 kilometer race. And if you're slow here, I fear that you might be loved because you look at this place from the leading park, it's blistering. And look at the strides they are taking these athletes towards the, the flat area of the course.
yeah quite a steady pace there Shadra Krono now falling into fourth place and you can see some meanders on the course that shows you that you have to be well prepared for such conditions and anything that you do any blunder any mistake that you make might prove costly because those who've mastered the art of running the cross country know exactly when to shift gears and that is that is being witnessed here as they come towards the last few meters a spectator area that they are really enjoying and you can see the lead has been exchanged almost thrice and we are not yet done with the second lap and of course no team dominance in the under 20 eight kilometer race like it was in the women category where we could see the south rift dominating each uh, almost every lap before just falling short in the last one so this is the second last lap and definitely you can see a little bit of communication from these athletes and of course south rift falling quite 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 uh, quite a bit um, into the fifth and sixth positions respectively but interestingly North Rift taking the lead through Charles Rotich uh, closing by is his counterpart Matthew Kipkoech Kipruto born in 2005 in May so it's not thrift taking control of matters here as they complete the second lap of this one. It's Charles, Charles Rotich still in the lead. It is not thrift, not thrift. And then there is Johanna Erot also of North thrift. And then the university is coming in also in the top five. So it's quite interesting. But not thrift in control of matters here. So it's Charles in the lead, of course. I tell you, this man has decided to take matters into his own hands. Remember, Charles Rotich, born on 4th of May in 2005. So that tells you that he has some bright future ahead of him. Matthew Kipkoech Kipruto also born in 2005 is currently in second place and Johanna Erot of uh, North Rift it seems that they've decided to take this head on and ensure that they uh, reign supreme in this one also watch out for Shadra Krono who was the lead uh, uh, the leader in the first lap he's still in the mix don't write him off the man from South Rift and of course after that we have the 10 kilometer senior women where we will see the likes of Beatrice Jebet trying to come out and uh, uh, reign supreme over this one Steve but North Rift having the first three positions into uh, this stage yeah, looks uh, like they were just buying their time, really. Um, it was a very, very steady start from um, South Rift region with uh, Shadra Krono, of course, uh, controlling the race in the initial stages. But, uh, yeah, looks like North Rift region, um, led by Charles Rotich here and Johanna Erot, have decided to uh, inject the pace, really, and uh, try to stretch the race as much as possible. And you can see uh, the field has really, really uh, grown bigger and bigger, uh, there are a number of athletes who've been dropped behind here, uh, leaving only uh, the top uh, like three, four athletes really on the leading pack and gunning for that uh, title. You can see just uh, yeah, four athletes there um, in the race really for the title. Um, you wonder if the athlete number five here on the on the lane can close that gap, but yeah, uh, it's really between uh, North Rift 
North Rift and Northeastern region there also we are seeing Martin, uh, Matthew keep keep coach keep Ruto uh, on bib number 401 has kept pace really with the leading pack here uh, which is led by Charles uh, Rotich as well as Johanna, Johanna Erot and Shadra Krono. So those are the four athletes uh, who have decided really to take this race and stretch it as much as possible. As we see, um, I think it's just really uh, stretching as we head into the um, still still a long-ish way to go, uh, Mulemi, but um, I do feel like uh, these four, uh, we are going to get our winner from any of these four athletes here today. And of course, Shadra Krono falling way, way back. So South Rift quite not in the picture at the moment. It's still North Rift's uh, Charles Rono and uh, his counterparts, Matthew Kipkoech and, of course, Johanna uh, Erot in the lead. Um, that's the leading pack, of course. And you look at the course, there's a mixture of uh, things that makes this course very, very interesting. And uh, you look at that right now, they're heading towards the steep uh, area of the course. And of course, it's uh, Charles Steele in the lead. He looks strong, really. Uh, this young man born in May 2005. And you can see them swing around the tires. That shows you that they are really enjoying the course, of course. And it was added just to add a little bit of spice. You know, the way you make this, uh, the, the course uh, interesting, uh, rather, you, the way you spice up the course makes it even better for these athletes because you look at those, the way they bend around the, 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 the tires, the way they take that bend towards that area, to, uh, to the flat area where it's bare and you can see everyone is enjoying and that is a road in fourth place at the moment is falling falling way a bit uh back uh, having uh, claimed that place after the second lap so this is really really interesting and it's boiling down to three uh, three top athletes coming into the third lap of this one and of course that's charles leading the the, the pack as we head towards the latter stages of the eight kilometers and a 20 uh, uh, men's race and it's, it's 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 getting getting interesting and the university is also and that is bib number four zero one four zero six of course teammates there from the north rift uh, leading the park there and of course we'll be looking forward to see what's going to happen towards the latter stages of this one and so it is matthew keep courage Assuming the lead at the moment with Charles in second place at the moment. That is Matthew still in the lead. And of course, Charles Rotich. Charles Rotich, who had the lead after the second lap, currently occupying second position with Johanna Erot in third place. As heading into the steep uh, play, uh, area in this one, it's now down to three. It's no trip, no trip. The university is currently, and those are the athletes who are chasing everything, trying to catch up with the likes of Matthew and Charles in the leading pack. And it's very, very interesting to see what's going to happen here towards the latter stages of this uh, under, tw under 28 kilometer race which is actually a very 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 competitive event and Steve you can look at this course it's really really beautiful you can see a farm just nearby trees just to surround the whole thing and cap make it uh, a, a beautiful scenery for these athletes and i'm sure even they're enjoying this even the air they're breathing absolutely um 
I mean, if I was running out there on, on that track, then I would complain about anything but the track. And, and of course, also the scenery. Um, it's a really, really beautiful in here at the Kenya Prison Staff Training College in Ruiru, um, in Kiambu County. Um, of course, uh, it's the world, uh, it's, it's the national uh, cross country championships, um, and we are preparing for the world uh, cross country championships that's happening in in Belgrade. Um, as we look at the athletes, really, it's. Um, just hilly, you know, they're going up and down, up and down. It's a, it's a swing, really, that I believe that um, um, is helping them, actually, <laughs> in a way. Um, I would rather uh, actually run here than run, for example, on a flat track. Um, of course, uh, given just, it, it tests your body uh, in, in a way that uh, a flat track does not. Of course, I'm sure you tried some marathon last year. You never recovered from that. <laughs> yeah, so beautiful images there courtesy of athletics kenya uh, tv we are live on facebook and youtube and of course bringing you every bit of action and you can see it's getting getting better and of course heading into the latter stages of this one the 20 the eight kilometers under 20 men we are down to three so it's matthew rotich and of course john in that order and you can feel that matthew has taken control of matters here and you can see the coaches urging him to maintain that pace and of course they're in route to claim the first three positions yeah, yeah of course it's always really really important we see it a lot in a lot in athletics especially the cross-country championships uh, that um, the coaches are always uh, moving with the athletes in a way waiting for them at some vantage positions uh, basically just to give them instructions to tell them when to uh, uh, put the pressure in really just to put the gas on the pedals and when when to um, uh, slow down a bit um, so it's really important that um, uh, the coaches are always uh, on the side giving these athletes some advice as they uh, try to win that um, very very important and, and uh, vital title of course some um, uh, exchanging position there with the universities um, John taking, claiming the lead. You could see Matthew grimacing. That shows you that it's not easy, Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, this is really the, the 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 point where you become you you have to really uh, summon your inner self. This is where you have to uh, show what your endurance, what you are made of, really. And you can see the three athletes trying to outwit each, each other as they have um, approached the finish line. This is where uh, champions are made. This is where now you have to show really what you are made of and you can see it's really a sprint finish towards the the finish line between the uh, three athletes uh, it's now down to two the university is um in second place there with charles rotich really taking the lead here it doesn't look like he's going to surrender this rotich uh he has his shoulders uh, up above but the universities are coming here he has the, the the finishing touch really and he sprints towards the finish line and makes this title his own his own really really good and uh, strong finish here from the universities and he makes the title his own and charity is on hand of course there is going to give us like a, an interview with the winning athletes and as well as the second placed um, athlete here uh, a very very good race here from the universities as well he kept himself in contention up until the final 100 meters and that's where he made it um that is where he made it um, uh, to the title. I just uh, share with you the name of the winning athlete here. Um, yeah, Mulemi, I think that was uh, really the, 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 the best finish that we could have gotten out of this race uh, with uh, the universities winning it. I remember they are now defending the title, having won it last year. I remember we talked about Samuel Wanjiru uh, winning. Uh, Samuel Wanjiru winning that one uh, last year, Samuel Kibati. And of course, uh, they've retained this one. And that shows you that uh, there's something cooking down there at the universities, as you said. And uh, it's really, really interesting uh, to see the universities claiming uh, the junior races here at the National Athletics Championship. So, uh, uh, rather, the National Cross Country Championships. So, this has been a very, very, very good race. That has been won by the same man, apparently, Steve, retaining his title, Samuel Kibati Wanjiru, best in Japan. 
<laughs> and you can see uh, he has the experience, but uh, I've just seen him uh, lying down. That just tells you that it was not an easy race for him. Uh, there's never like too much experience in these races, and you could see uh, it took its toll on him as well. He's down on the ground. He's just uh, uh, trying to uh, get a bit more energy just to get him up really uh, for the for the interview with Charity in there. Uh, but it was a really really close contest here. I'm sure that at some point he must have doubted himself. But given the experience that he has, of course, uh, being the defending champion, I'm sure that um, he just has to had to summon uh, his um, last bit of energy, just uh, you know, uh, play off his uh, shadows and play off, uh, run off his um, um, experience that he did that he used last year to win this title. Um, and yeah, victory for him. Him, I'm sure he'll be very, very happy with that. And of course, it's never easy retaining the title, but of course, on the same course, it means that there's something that he's doing right, mastering the course, mastering when uh, to make that kick. And of course, he was playing fourth fiddle for quite a while, and when the things uh, when when push uh, came to show he was actually very very much capable of uh, toppling charles rotich and of course Ma uh, matthew towards winning this title and that shows you that he has what it takes and of course he'll have a very interesting story to tell and over to you charity wanja uh, samuel sorry sorry uh, samuel kebavi congratulations sirikoli maliza number three sayu meza kushinda Ninini ulienda ukongezea kwa mazoezi yako ndo sasa hii umeza kushinda hapa? Uh, speed work na, na endurance. Mm -hmm. Ndio niongeza. Yeah. Na sasa hivi leo umemake team Kenya target yako? Target ni kutetea Kenya gold. Na uko sawa. Yeah. Umekuwa kwa race huku kwa mbele vile but somehow umekuja uka pick up. Ni ilikuwa strategy ama kulikuaje? Na eh, mwanzo mwanzo mwili haikuwa sawa. Hata si kuona kana nitabeba. Eh yeah, lakini kumalizia kumalizia nimesikia mwili kwa nguvu nika nikaenda. Yeah. Okay all the best and congratulations. Charles Rotich, Charles Rotich, uh, finish. Ah, you, you're the one who finished this day. Eh? Uh, Charles, una feel aje sai. Race mwe kujamu mwe kimbizana na, na Samuel Kabadi. Laki numeza ku make team Kenya. Mpango yako ni gani? So, um, kwa mpango yangu, kwanza na shukuru mungu. Ya pili na shukuru coach pia, coaches pia. Kama inge kwa coaches sa uh, singe. Singatia PD. So, so Nendelea Kufana Masos in Joe, Nansa Kulata Kult. Na Nini Sai Kamazuezi, Ulukuna Focus, Nanin Kosabu Sirikwa, Ulkua Bado Kapodium, Nasai Bado Kapodium. So, Nilata Kutia PD Kamasuezi, so Nansa Focus Kulendele. All the best and congratulations. Utenda. Um, that one was Samuel Kabadi and Charles Rotich. They both, they, uh, Samuel Rotich finished first in the 8 kilometer race for the men, and also he was followed closely by Charles Rotich, who finished second. Um, from here, uh, it's over to you, Greg. Speed and endurance, uh, which was needed uh, during the last 100 meters as he competed for the title, uh, and of course, there. Um, Charles Rotich also who finished third uh, saying uh, of course that he's really really grateful to his coaches um, I'm sure who are backing instructions uh, on the on the on the track ra rather on the side of the track as he uh, aimed to win this title so Charles Rotich and Samuel Kibathi and of course um, Matthew Kipkoech making it to Team Kenya for the World Athletics Championships that will be held in Belgrade, um, Serbia on the 30th of March. Uh, as we see, a number of athletes still, uh, the field is still really, really huge. A number of athletes are still uh, trying to make it uh, to the finish line. Um, of course, this shows you how difficult it is uh, for these athletes to, to go the distance. Um, training and, of course, competition are two different things. Uh, as we th see two athletes uh, from the coast region uh, sprinting to the finish line. Um, of course, you know, uh, sometimes it's never about winning, it's about improving on your time, it's about finishing even sometimes. Uh, so it's really important that uh, you 
go the full distance um, as we continue uh, during as we continue with the commentary and live co live coverage of the national cross country championships happening in Roiru and you can join us on Facebook as well as on YouTube and we'll be uh, sampling some of the comments that we receive from you uh, and of course if you can make it here uh, in Roiru also uh, you are very much welcome Mulemi as we look now into the next um, competition on the cards coming up next of course is the 10 kilometers uh, senior women's race and I've just been going through their start list here and it's really really interesting to see uh, what to expect rather and I'm looking forward to seeing some of the oldest uh, members in the start list to see what they can do I'm looking at uh, Evelyn Maraba of Central Rift, born, born in 1997. Uh, there is Nancy Itaiga of Eastern Region, born on 18th of July 1988. She'll be competing in the 10 km senior women. Um, there is also um, um, there is also uh, an athlete born in 1987, and that shows you that many of these athletes it's not only about earning that ticket towards uh, yep. schools um, comes in in uh, may on the 12th in uh, gong race course and uh, the local organizing committee is in the process of preparing the the team kenya alongside the preparations for the hosting of the event and uh, one of the criteria that we shall use to make sure that we select the athletes is because we have under 12 under 15 and under 18 uh, we shall be able to use uh, the schools because uh, the event is for children in school. Uh, however, we also have uh, results for Chepsaita, for uh, Discovery, for Sirikwa and uh, this national cross country which is being done today uh, where we are still uh, taking stock of uh, the probables and uh, we will be able to identify them. Uh, we want to have a long list that is going to be sent to ISF, that is the International Schools Federation, uh, for confirmation of entries. Uh, and we intend to select a team of uh, 60 athletes to represent uh, Kenya. That is 10 athletes per category, uh, because we have three categories, uh, under 12 and under 15, uh, then we have under 18. Uh, we are very keen on age and uh, eligibility. And also you must have a UPI, uh, you must be in school for you to be able to participate in this. And this is the greatest honor for Kenya to have been given an opportunity to host such an event. This is the second edition of the World uh, Schools Cross Country. And um, uh, uh, Gong Race Course uh, happens to be one of the best uh, uh, venues. Uh, we have done the first inspection by the International Schools Federation. And uh, the second uh, inspection comes in on the 13th of this month and we shall do the event launch uh, on the 14th of March uh, at uh, Gong Race Course where the event will be undertaken. So we invite everyone to come and partner with us. Uh, the government has uh, fully sponsored the event uh, and um, we, we, we intend to uh, incorporate uh, corporates and uh, partners to come on board and uh, be able to support the event because it's about our children. Uh, this is um, an, an, an event that is uh, under the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of uh, Sports uh, and um, the, uh, the, the, the economy. Uh, we have the, the creative economy and uh, we are partnered very well uh, to make sure that we uh, present our world class event uh, come. Uh, 12th of May. Uh, yes. Apart from the athlete being in school, um, what else is that is a requirement for you to verify the real age of the athlete? Uh, well, uh, the, 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 the issue, the main issue here is uh, age, and uh, we are keen on birth certificates for when they were secured because uh, uh, Kenya now has a system of making sure that. Uh, Chemists has come in to make sure that uh, all children, their ages are registered as they enter school. And uh, that is the criteria that we shall use to be able to be within the, the age uh, limit uh, for the various categories that will be presented. Otherwise, we are expecting most of the athletes will come from the, the junior school. That is for the under 12, under the under 15, and then the under 18, most of the athletes will come from the secondary schools. So this is uh, the position.
information. I'm um, speaking of the junior schools. We saw that there was a there was a sports program that was uh, that was set up by the Ministry of Late. Maybe you could, if you could elaborate much more about the program for the junior schools sports. The the, the, the issue about uh, the coordination of uh, sports. Uh, we have the Directorate of Field Coordination and Co-Curricular Activities. And uh, for the first time uh, in 2024, we shall have a third category uh, of, uh, of competition where we have the primary schools competing on their own. We have junior schools that will be competing as a standalone. And we have the secondary schools competing uh, uh, on their own. So it is after these uh, championships plus the, the competition that have already been done on cross country that we shall be able to have a trial to be able to select the team Kenya. So we want to spread it wide so that uh, we don't disadvantage any uh, athlete who may be uh, uh, eligible to participate in the event. Yes. Um, during this, uh, the under 20 category for the men and the women here at the prisons, at the prisons training college, did you have any athletes that are potential for the, the secondary school, for the school cross country? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, the team, the, the local organizing committee for the ISF cross country and the youth subcommittee for athletics Kenya is here and uh, we are very keen on uh, identifying the athletes, particularly the ones that uh, are in school and th these results will also help us. We have seen some probables, however, for under 18, the, the, the under 12, under 15 may be a challenge here, most of them will, are in school, uh, but for this under 20 category, a few will... Uh, 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 qualified because they, they are under 18. So those ones who will be able to, to reflect them and invite them for the trials. We are also trying to see when we can fix the trials because we must be able to meet the deadlines for the ISF in terms of confirmation of entries uh, for the competition. Thank you so much. Um, um, how far will with the course? I think so far we have done the preliminaries, we have done the, the site, we have done the, 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 where the cross country will be at Congress course. We are forming the committees now and I think we are good to go. Beyond here we are now doing the final touches so that we can have the whole program in place. Any countries that have started expressing interest? We have many countries which have already registered with ISF. We will be getting the full list and we will be able to feed it to you on the countries which have confirmed participation. Yeah. Uh, uh, could you kindly give us a rough number of the countries? Uh, so far, I think we have over 20. We have over 20 approaching that number. The number of countries so far confirmed is approaching 30. And we expect more as the deadline approaches to confirm. Yeah. Thank you so much. And Thank all the best. You. Uh, that was Mr. Wambua and Mr. Gekonyo talking about the forthcoming um, world, world schools uh, cross country, sorry. Well, uh, school cross country that is expected to be hosted in Kenya. They are so excited. They are very excited to be having over 30 countries that have shown interest to come and compete here in Kenya at the Ngog Race Course. Over to you, Greg. Thank you very much, Charity. As we await for the start of the senior 10 kilometer uh, women's race, of course, some of the athletes still competing in the 8 kilometers men race and I think this is the last athlete in that one. Congratulations to him because he's endured the heat, he's endured the course, he endured the conditions and crossing the finishing line and paving way for the big one, the 20 kilometer men, women race the 10 kilometer women race that starts in a bit and of course a few names to look forward to a very 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 big field of athletes here, not just in terms of numbers, but in terms of names as well. Um, this one is one race that you don't want to miss. Trust me, you. Um, I'm just going to share with you some of the athletes uh, who are here. We have Agnes Jebet Ngetich from Central Rift, uh, who uh, is one of the athletes to look out for. She'll be on bib number 124. Uh, we also have Sheila Chepkiroe and we have Jocelyn Jepkos Guy on uh, bib number 140 from the Kenya Defense Forces. Of course, we have Lilian uh, Kasait Lengeruk. Uh, these are uh, 
not just local athletes but these are athletes who've gone out there and showed that uh, they can conquer the world uh, we also have uh, Joylin Retich who will be running for KWS uh, we have Edina Jebitok uh, from Nairobi region and we also have Beatrice Chebet uh, from um, National Police Service and uh, of course Sheila Chelangat and um, Joy Mkanda from National Youth Service uh, so it's a very very big um, field here in terms of names, in terms of uh, just uh, the competition as well. Uh, so this is going to be a cracking race uh, if you ask me and this is one race that you want to of course uh, keep an eye on not just uh, at the finish line but uh, we'll just be looking at how the leads will be changing I uh, remember that this uh, given the experience of the athletes here uh, it's not going to be sort of a gang-ho race it's going to be a very very controlled race uh, whereby of course athletes will be looking to ensure that they are not caught in the crowd uh, but also um, ensure that uh, they are not left behind of course so it's going to be a very very tactical race uh, given the uh, level of experience we have on this field Mulemi. and of course plenty and plenty and plenty of action expected here of course the adrenaline must be pumping high high and of course uh, the expectations uh, will be, be uh, hitting the the, 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 the the roof ceiling so this is something that we'll be looking forward to in green interest i'm looking at the likes of lillian kasai the 2017 world cross country championship silver medalist who will be competing for western um she is one to watch here and of course uh, we have the likes of lillian kasai just as steve said there is uh, Beatrice Chebet looking forward to see what she can do from this one and of course uh, we are looking at the likes of Lois Chemining from prisons uh, she's at her home turf so what can she do from here remember uh, Chemining was the 2022 Africa 3000 meters triple chess bronze medalist uh, there is Karen Chebet and of course um, the likes of Kasait uh, Chebet and of course we look at uh, uh, these athletes who've set standards across the globe. Beatrice Chebet, remember she's the world cross country champion. She's here, she's ready and she wants to make sure that everyone who came here gets a bit of what she's capable of doing and we, uh, uh, there we go the 10 kilometers senior women race and look at that straight along they've sped off passing by and look at that rich field of athletes look at the way they are able to show what to expect in the coming rounds of this one steve and as you look at this one the muddy pitch uh, the muddy uh, course the hills the tires of course there is no hay today <laughs> of course uh, something that is a bit different from uh, perhaps what they are used to training uh, on uh, every 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 passing day um, of course uh, this is a track uh, that has been designed to test their endurance, that has been designed to test not just their physical prowess but also their mental um um, the, 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 their mental sort of um, a prowess as well so you do expect this to be a very very challenging race of course for them uh, or just uh, not just cause of the of the track but also given the profile of athletes that are here and of course um, among them being Beatrice Chebet who won the title last year uh, beating Ethiopia's Tsige Grebre Gebre Selama and uh, Agnes Jebet Ngetich also from Kenya that is Kenya won the gold and the bronze during last year's championship uh, this is a race that it's um, a give or take it's going to last about uh, just over half an hour here uh, so keep it uh, keep keep uh, watching uh, keep following us on Facebook and YouTube of course using uh, the live links there as we uh, cover f this race from the very beginning to the end um, and of course, just to mention that uh, some of the athletes that are our favorites here besides the, 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 the champion is Jocelyn Jepkos Gay, uh, who is on bib number 140. Keep an eye for, uh, on her uh, on bib number 140, uh, bib number 140, that is Jocelyn Jepkos Gay. Uh, keep an eye also on Lilian uh, Lengeruk. Uh, also, uh, from Kenya Prison Services, um, that is bib number 145, and of course from KWS Gladys Cherono, uh, who's been who is one of the more experienced athletes on the field here. Uh, so we have 
a very big field here of athletes. Uh, some who are born as early as 2001 to those who are born as late as uh, the year 2008. So uh, do expect uh, a lot of um, changes really as far as uh, the leading group is concerned here as the race unfolds. Because you talk about athletes who will be uh, aiming to emulate what their pre predecessors have done in the past. Um, I'm looking at the Kenya Defense Forces, uh, the, the, the battle between the Kenya Defense Forces, Kenya prisons, and of course um, the National Police Service in this one. Beatrice Chebet representing National Police Service. Remember, she's the world champion over the 10 kilometers uh, women race. Of course, there is Gladys Kwamboka, Margaret Chelimo, Beatrice Chep Chepkemoi, Sheila Chelangat, and Sandra Felis Chebet, all representing the National Police Police Service. In the KDF, yani the Kenya Defense Forces, uh, we have Gladys Koech, Diana Chepkorir, Sheila Chepkirui, Joycelyn Jeb Kosgei, Cynthia Chepngeno, Gloria Chepkirui. Um, from the prison services, which produced uh, last year's winner in Ruth Chepngetich, we have Caroline Kibiwot, Fancy Cherono, Lillian Kasait Lengeruk, who will be aiming to reclaim what is okay, what I can say has been her speciality over the years. Lois Chemnung, uh, Rebecca Mwangi, Karen Chebet. So uh, last year's defending champion Ruth Chepnit is not in action this time round. Remember she stormed the, pitch, uh, the field last year to win the individual race, that's the 10 kilometers women race, before propelling her team to winning the, uh, the relays uh, later on, making everybody who was attending uh, the, the national championships last year stand on their feet and applaud that great, great performance on her home turf. So she's not in today, so Lillian Kasait will be aiming to see if she can replicate what her predecessor did last year. From Nairobi region, we have the likes of Edina Jebitok, another very, very uh, uh, big, big name in uh, in the, in Kenyan athletics. Uh, we also have uh, Nancy Jepkeme and Desina Gerono. Um, I'm looking at uh, uh, North Rift region, where we have the likes of Jeb Koech, Pamela Jeb Kosge, uh, uh, Falin Cheruto, Vivian Jerotich, as we head towards the first lap of this one. So it is the 10 kilometer senior uh, women race. And we'll be looking forward to see what's happening. So just to take you through uh, this one and just to remind you some of the things that happened uh, happened uh, here last year at the Kenya National Cross Country Championships. And uh, many of these athletes use this to kickstart their season. Uh, we know the season has, season has already started with uh, the track and field events. Uh, we shall be having uh, the trials for the All Africa Games later on next week. Um, postponed after the tragedy that hit the country and the athletics fraternity at large, the loss of Kelvin Kiptum and of course uh, the three-time world record holder in 5,000, 3,000 meters, uh, Henry Rono, who they both passed away um, in mid-February. So um, this event has been made possible after all those events that happened in the past and of course as they take the first lap of this one you can feel the adrenaline of that one and there they go Anyango of still in the mix there <laughs> Beatrice Chebet, of course, she is in second place um, at the moment. And you can see she's very, very strong heading into that one. And we had talked about Anyango, who's really running well this time round. So it's Agnes Chebet in the lead at the moment. Beatrice Chebet also hanging in there. As is current a bit of prisons also. That's the leading pack of the 10 kilometer senior race. And 
of course they are being cheered on you can see um, fans from the national youth service on my right cheering their counterparts ensuring that they stay on course with their the likes of agnes jebet who's really really strong beatrice jebet with a new hairstyle of course coming in and she's now in second place Agnes Jebet, of course, representing Central Rift. And Beatrice Jebet, of course, uh, in second place at the moment. So it's quite a predictable first five. Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, no surprises really uh, so far in terms of who are setting the early pace here. And of course, um, any of these athletes, I'm, I'm sure, can uh, maintain uh, this lead up until the finish line uh, with Agnes uh, Jebet Ngetich uh, from Central Rift, of course, leading the pack. Um, uh, during the home stretch, um, we also have there uh, Lilian Kasait Lengaruk uh, from Kenya Prisons um, Services. Uh, she trains in Iten, Lilian, and also we have there Karen Jebet uh, among uh, the leading pack also from Kenya Prison Services. And of course, we have uh, the reigning World Cross Country Championship uh, in the uh, 10, 10 kilometers. Uh, Beatrice Jebet also, of course, uh, aiming to make uh, this title our own. And also we had in there Margaret Chelimo from uh, National Police Service as well. So a very predictable um, line there in terms of uh, who are expected to uh, go the distance up until uh, the finish line. But it's still early in, early in the race. Um, the, you expect, of course, um, given... The depth of the field, you always expect uh, some twists and turns um, uh, as we get closer and closer into the last um, bits of the race. But it looks a bit predictable right now with the athletes, uh, with the favorite athletes um, are leading the line there. Uh, it's a very stretched field now, um, of course, uh, as you expect, as uh, uh, the sun uh, gets down a bit harder now. Uh, it's not as cool as when we started early in the day with the uh, under 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 16 uh, junior races uh, it's, it's gotten a bit hot now but it's still nice and windy it's a bit uh, uh, which i think is really really important uh, for the race uh, when it's this hot and it's, it's windy that helps a bit um, but we expect uh, as the day uh, progresses we are going to it's going to get a bit hotter uh, but of course uh, these are athletes who've um, been tried and tested in all manner of weather conditions uh, they've, they've run under uh, the rains even uh, and remember that some some of these uh, um, cross-country championships are actually uh, normally done uh, during um, the the rainy season uh, of course which makes the, the tracks a bit more uh, challenging uh, but we do expect um, a number of these are uh, the, the senior athletes really uh, to lead this race up until the end and we will of course be uh, telling you how that is unfolding as we welcome more people uh, who of course are joining us uh, through youtube and uh, facebook live links uh, following this race uh, happening in ruiru uh, and we do expect um, of course um, more numbers and of course more followers as, as the race progresses mulemi taking the lead right now is Beatrice Chebet, the world cross-country champion. And uh, Agnes Chebet saying that she's not giving up that easily. So it's really, really interesting. It is a battle between Beatrice Chebet. There is Lillian Kasaid currently in fourth place. Remember, she's the defending prisons champion in the in the cross country, as they take the flat, rough course, of course, not a grassy patch as it was as they came in. So it's Agnes Jebet in the lead at the moment. 
It is Jebet falling into third place, but it's still too close to call. Lilian Kasait, who's expressed her desire to win gold for Kenya in this one. She's currently in second, Beatrice Chebet in third. And Auma of Nairobi currently in, hanging in there in second place. So it's down to four on your screens. That is Agnes, there's Auma, there's Chebet, and of course Lilian Kasait. So it's down to four and they're showing their intent right now. Kasait falling quite, quite a bit as they take the course. So Agnes Jebet still in the lead. Immaculate Nyango Auma in second place at the moment. She's representing Nairobi. But that is Agnes Jebet taking the hill nicely. Followed by Immaculate Beatrice Jebet and of course Lillian Kasait. Now the top four athletes stretching the rest of the field. Agnes Jebet with her trademark way of running with her long strides of course. Immaculate of Nairobi in second place at the moment. Beatrice Chebet in third. Lilian Kasait trying to catch up because this is a very, very strong field of runners. And you can see the way they're, uh, they're running. It's, it, they're proving that they are just in better shape for the season. And just to remind you that Lilian Kasait currently in fourth. She is the current prison's champion in the marathon so it is a race between the four and of course we'll be looking forward to seeing who runs supreme in this one so it's agnes jebet immaculate anyango beatrice jebet and lillian kasait Agnes Jebet there, as uh, Mulemi says, reading this race, uh, she is really the athlete to look for, uh, despite the fact that uh, uh, Beatrice, um, despite the fact that uh, we have Beatrice Jebet here, the reigning uh, world champion, uh, but Agnes Jebet has been putting really the times uh, this year. Remember, she won two medals at uh, last year's uh, World Cross Country Championships. Um, she got the bronze in the women's race and also of course uh, the team gold for team kenya and this year she improved actually the world record for a 10 kilometer run by a whole 28 seconds uh, her time of 20 with a time of 28 minutes and 46 seconds uh, she also broke the world uh, record in the five kilometers mark uh, putting uh, clocking 14.13 um, six seconds faster than the previous record, world record. So she is really the athlete to look for uh, this year. She is the athlete on form. Uh, but of course, uh, the good thing with such championships and also given the fact that uh, it's a very competitive um, field of senior athletes, uh, you can never really put your finger on her and saying uh, she is going to win. But she is definitely among the favorites and she's put herself in that position as well. Agnes Jebet, of course, bronze medalist in the World Championships last year in Bathurst, Australia. Strong in this one, ahead of last year's champion and, of course, the reigning champion, um, Beatrice Jebet. And, of course, uh, talking about last year, this uh, women and a 10 kilometer senior race at, in Australia, Beatrice Jebet emerged winner in a time of 33.48 seconds, 33 minutes, 48 seconds ahead of Tisgie Gebre Salama of Ethiopia with Agnes uh, Jebet Ngetich who is currently leading the field here coming in third with Grace Loibak who today hasn't really uh, caught up with the rest of the pack coming in fourth place and that shows you that it's more of a copycat of what happened last year at the World Athlete, uh, Cross Country Championships in Bathurst, Australia and you can feel that this is more, more or less the same as uh, what we expected. Agnes still in the lead Immaculate Anyango, uh, the decoy in between, I can't call it that way because not many gave her a chance but she's a very very brilliant athlete uh, representing Nairobi and of course Beatrice Chebet currently in third 
uh, the prison's uh, champion in cross country lane Kasait. She's hanging there. We know that she also has the kick, but watch out for Beatrice. She's very good in the latter stages. In the last stages, you don't want her to just pick that pace. As Mulemi says, immaculate Anyango there, uh, really a case of putting the cut among the pigeons and she is the one who's leading this race now. Um, a very unfamiliar name if you ask me in that leading pack uh, but you know that just shows you that uh, uh, athletics is everyone's language and of course she is aiming to uh, upset a very very competitive and experienced field here having the defending champ the defending world champion as well as the bronze men men the bronze medalist from last year's uh, competition so the top four really here uh, it's too close to call uh, right now of course and uh, even their coaches uh, their coaches are looking into this race and just asking themselves how can we uh, what are the tactical maneuvers that we can inject here what can we tell the athletes uh, to ensure that they move uh, to the finish line. So a very, very interesting race is unfolding here, Mulemi. You've talked about athletes on form. She is the most, uh, she is the athlete with uh, the finest form in this one because just two weeks ago, she won the Sirico Classic. So you can feel that she's come here with intent to show that whatever happened at the Lobo Village is going to happen here in Ruiru. So that is it, Immaculate Onyango, Agnes Jebet, and of course Beatrice and Lillian Kasait in that order. Immaculate, remember, won the Sirico uh, Classic. It shows you that it's not an, it's not a name. Absolutely, and she has put herself up there and she's like, okay, who's going to beat me today? I won it last time. I know that uh, it's a bit more competitive today, but I want to show everyone here that it was not a fluke. And of course, you know what's in store here? Uh, in Sirikwa, it was not as big as it is today. So I will be expecting her, of course, uh, to contest up until the finish line. Uh, so it's really um, uh, panning out to be a very, very competitive uh, race here. The, the top four here, anyone can win it really. Difficult to call, of course, uh, given the profiles of the athletes there. You have the... Uh, the defending world champion, you have the uh, last year's bronze me medalist and of course you have Immaculate Anyango there uh, just to uh, throw in pretty much like the spanner in the works of course and uh, like Mulemi says she comes in there with a lot of uh, experience, a lot of uh, uh, present phrase uh, sort of experience uh, having won in Sirikwa so I, I, it's, it's, it's becoming it, it's really difficult to call this one I can't, I can't say who's going to win it but that is why we are here, we are um, Taking all the, the footage here, you can see uh, the, the way the race is panning out and we will be there with you as we look, as we get ever so close uh, to the final laps in this race. And of course, she's just exactly a month away from turning 24 Immaculate um, uh, Anyango, uh, the winner of the Sirikwa Classic Marathon uh, well, Cross Country just a few weeks ago. And she's leading the park here at the Ruiru Prison Staff Training College in this 10 kilometers women race. And as we said, she, she has shown intent, having won one of the biggest races in Africa just a few weeks ago. Now she wants to take it on, take the bull on its horns at the world championships and you can feel that she's doing this at the moment she's in the lead just ahead of um agnes beatrice and lillian in that order and that shows you that this is going to be high year of course and you know it doesn't get better if it starts this way because you look at her of course, with, with, with the experience of Agnes, of course, who won bronze in Australia, of course, there's the experience of Beatrice Chebet, the world champion uh, in the cross country, and of course, the, the prison's champion, that is uh, uh, Lillian Kasait, who's also uh, ex uh, say that this time around, she has to make it to Team Kenya and, of course, claim gold at the world championship. So, is really really interesting if you're joining us remember this is the 10 kilometers senior women race uh, here at the prison staff training college in Ruiru and 
we just halfway we're not yet done underway coming up also is the 10 kilometers men's race expect big big names as they try to bring up a team rather get into team kenya that will try wrestle that title from uh, joshua cheptigai and jacob kiplimo of uganda um remember the men they've said that they can do it uh, watch out for the likes of joffrey Kamoror, who is uh, one of the most experienced athletes in that field and it's something that uh, will of course uh, be uh, in the picture as we head uh, towards the business end of matters here but if you're joining us we are live and that is the f uh, 10 kilometer senior m women race right now it's between immaculate Tanyango. Uh, there is uh, Agnes Jebet, Je Je uh, Je uh, there is Beatrice Jebet, and of course Lillian Kasait uh, in that order. So it is very, very interesting. Let's wait and see what happens. It's uh, slowly panning out to be a four-person um, uh, four affair, and this is very, very close. You can't tell who's going to get make the first move. The closer it is, the more exciting it is. Uh, and of course, um, I, I feel like it's not just us really here in the studio feeling the pressure. I can see um, uh, our viewers online as well uh, just trying to predict who's going to win this. Uh, Russo, uh, Jacob, Lesitima says Anyango to carry the day. So uh, he's like, he must have watched uh, Anyango carry the day in Sirikwa and he must have been impressed by what she did uh, there. So he's like, no, he's going to. Uh, she's going to win it. Uh, Mutai Gilbert uh, just says Beatrice, you know, uh, he's like um, all that experience, you know, uh, this is the, 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 the reigning world um, champion in the cross country, so she's going to carry it. And of course, we also have uh, Emmanuel Kipkorir uh, saying Agnes. Uh, Beatrice Yemeli also uh, giving Anyango the second uh, uh, vote here, saying Anyango a winner. And then Lemawok. Uh, Ketema say Beatrice will win very easily. Um, and of course, my, uh, mining Arab Tandui, Rotich. Um, I love the way he is, is, uh, is uh, typed his name there, Rotich, R O W T E A C H. Says, Chairman, thank you for live streaming. One more request kindly find. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if Chilat says uh, Anyango to win it, uh, so yeah, you can see that um, there's a lot of um, people here really uh, favoring Anyango, and of course, they, it's, it's too tight to call this one. It all goes with the form, and of course, uh, the preparations. And I think Anyango has put in so much uh, to ensure that she's in good shape, and you can see that it's gonna happen here as she still stays in the mix as they head towards the latter stages of this 10 kilometers senior women race here at the Kenya Prison Staff Training College in Ruiru and it is the national cross country championships of course as they head downhill into and the next teeth. Um, this course by the very exciting you look at how it is you you, you go through uh, several birds, uh, several uh, uh, courses there is a steep place there is the flat uh, surface there is the, uh, at, at the, the the muddy part which uh, today is not uh, uh, it's not really a big problem and that is Ag uh, Agnes in the lead of course immaculate looking really really strong but watch out for beat Tibet she's got blistering pace especially into the home stretch so it's very very interesting to see and I fear that if Lillian Kasai doesn't start making a move now, she might be late. Yeah, absolutely. You can see that they are matching each other really stride to stride. Uh, they are exchanging leads. Uh, we saw uh, the previous lap, it was Anyango who was on the lead. Right now, it is Agnes Jebet Ngetich who assumed the lead. Uh, there's really not much to separate the athletes right now as we get ever so close uh, to the finish line. And like Mulemi says, uh, it could be down really to who has that uh, kick really um, as you see them going up and down the hill there with the... Uh, uh, Agnes Ajebet uh, Ngetich still in the lead and Immaculate Anyango just on the, in, in second spot there and of course Beatrice Ajebet uh, and Lillian uh, Kasait also among uh, that uh, leading four and uh, this is uh, turning, uh, it's turning out to be a very very closely contested affair this one uh, does look like it could go down to the wire this one, it could down, go down to has, who has that finishing kick at the end of this race which we are edging ever so close to.
Looking at the way things are here, it's so difficult to tell who's going to make the first move. It seems that both these at both athletes have studied each other really, really well, and they know that if one commits, it might be too early, and it might be f uh, prove fertile for, uh, for, 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 for the athletes. And you can see Agnes Jebet, of course, she knows that she she's in control of matters right now. You look at her as they head towards the downhill. She knows that she is in control of matters. She knows that she can have this and of course, she'll be dictating the pace. Um, Beatrice Chebet, she's been in third all through, so she knows that if she's in between there, then it's easy for her to judge on what to do. But then watch out for Immaculate. She knows that she might fancy this because um, she has a chance of winning back-to-back cross-country titles in a span of two weeks. So this is really, really interesting. Uh, for Lillian Kasaid, she's expressed her desire to go and win gold for Kenya at the World cross-country championships, especially after winning uh, the prison uh, uh, cross-country championships uh, in uh, in January. So she'll be looking forward to maybe trying out something. She might fancy her chances, but she hasn't broken from fourth for quite a while. And that shows you that uh, she might be uh, trying to use the tactic to uh, see if she can maybe bust and uh, go clear of the rest uh, of the leading pack. But Immaculate for me looks like she is just there waiting for her moment. But then I've just uh, said, Beatrice Jebet, she's got a very, very good final kick. So uh, we wait to see what's going to happen here as they head uphill, downhill. This is very interesting. You look at how they are taking this, those strides. They, it's like they've mastered this course and they know exactly when, what to do, when to do. And look at that, Agnes, very, very strong. She, look at the way she's moving her body, heading uphill then downhill. Yani, she is actually in the form of our life. Might be fancying her chances of improving the bronze to the gold if she finishes in a top position here. Yeah, and you can see she's injected some pace there and I feel like uh, it has burned some of these athletes. You can see uh, that Lillian uh, Kasait Lengeruk uh, has dropped off from the leading pack and uh, uh, you can see Agnes uh, ever stretching ev th that lead ever so more. She's put like around 10 meters um, uh, distance between her and Anyango in second place. So this is really, uh, uh, as I would uh, call it, a uh, squeaky bum time. Uh, this is the time now where you have to uh, channel all your inner energy and this is where experience also comes in as you can see um, Agnes there the, the pace that she put there within uh, 100 meters has really uh, split the, the field here and uh, I feel like uh, she's smelling blood she feels like she can win this uh, she feels like it's, it's enough playing around and she feels she has the energy really just to stretch this field and put that distance between her uh, because the, the, the room for making mistakes is getting ever so thin so the earlier she addresses this the better. Agnes Jebet Nyetich, of course, stretching that lead, making the first move as they head towards the latter stages of this 10 kilometers senior women race. Of course, stretching the lead between her and Immaculate to around five meters. Immaculate also making sure that she's still in the mix. Uh, Beatrice Jebet currently falling to fourth, and that shows you that this has been very, very interesting. And Lillian Kasait coming in uh, third place at the moment but that is Agnes Jebet the bronze medalist in uh, Bad House Australia coming towards the, 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 the last home stretch of this one the last corner as they will go towards the home stretch that is Beatrice uh, Agnes in the lead by the way taking that bend very nicely Immaculate currently in second Beatrice uh, Agnes Jebet being escorted by her fans there Immaculate in second place at the moment she is in home tough so she knows this is what she can do Agnes Jebet coming to the home stretch she looks really strong. Immaculate trying to close in, but Agnes will hang on that. It is between Immaculate and uh, Agnes. But Agnes, bronze medalist in Australia, winner of the National Cross Country Championships, 10 kilometers senior women race. Immaculate, the winner of Siriqua, will come in second. And of course, Lillian Kasait in third and Beatrice Chebet in fourth. What a great finish to the race there what a control run by agnes jebet 
Ngeti, you could say that she timed her run in the most perfect way there, Agnes, as she wins uh, the under uh, the, 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 the the 10 kilometer uh, race here for the women here and we see there there's, <laughs> there's one of his coaches is out there like uh, really really happy there with the with a banner that says Agnes Ngetich uh, the work never stops and for her uh, the fastest woman this year the world record holder for the 10 uh, kilometer distance uh, has really put uh, f f uh, uh, shoulders really above the rest here but really really good race by Agnes uh, by by immaculate rather I think uh, she just ran out of us uh, during the last uh, uh, 10 uh, 20 meters here she tried really uh, to pump uh, forward for the uh, to try and catch uh, Agnes for the lead but uh, I think uh, during the last kilometer Agnes already decided this is mine and she held it up until the end uh, the world champion Beatrice Chabet of course coming in third and this being I think her first race uh, I know she's she'll be looking forward to improving the performances after today and we'll t be talking about what she's capable of doing maybe going to retain her world title but then Agnes that sh shows why she's run the fastest time uh, ever in the 10 kilometers as a woman and this shows you that she has what it takes let's say to improve the bronze medal that she won uh, in Australia into gold but then watch out for immaculate brilliant brilliant performance in Sirikwa another immaculate performance here at the Ruiru Kenya prison staff training college and making sure that she finishes in the podium second place just two weeks after winning the Sirikwa classic so immaculate Anyango Auma very 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 good athlete and she's shown that she's capable of conquering the world coming in second just a month before she celebrates her 24th birthday Beatrice Chebet of course the world champion in the 10 kilometers senior women race of course finishing in third Lillian Kasait of the prison department of course finishing fourth having won the prison uh, uh, cross country championship she knows she has what it takes to conquer the world as she promised her fans earlier on and as you said the winner Agnes Jebet she won and her coach with the banner it you it yeah it, that said you, you never stop yeah. yeah you never stop uh, uh, learning I think and I think that, that, that that's a good guess and it shows you that everyone who came here knows exactly what it takes to become a champion congratulations to the winners and of course congratulations to Agnes Jebet Nyetich congratulations to Immaculate uh, congratulations to Lilian Kasait and of course the world champion Beatrice Jebet who's making a comeback after the long the much needed rest this has been the 10 kilometers uh, women senior race uh, the 10 kilometer senior women race that just ended with Agnes de teach winning that one remember she's the fastest in the world in this one yeah yeah absolutely um let me uh, I think that was one of the best races we've watched so far and of course we expected that given uh, the uh, profile of athletes that were in the field um, the experience there of Agnes Jebet and uh, teach of course uh, counting at the end of the day uh, she has shown the world why she is the fastest woman over that distance and of course over the five kilometers as well uh, so it's um it's really uh, I think um, important for her as well uh, just to ensure that uh, uh, she finished that race and of course uh, qualified for the world uh, cross country championships that's happening uh, towards um, end of end of this month and of course um, immaculate anyango there also showing that her name is actually who she is and of course i'm sure she'll be looking forward also to competing at the championships as, as well so i feel like uh, that's a very very good field there for kenya as we wait for um as we switch to I've seen all along Mumekindizana Wewe, um, Immaculate, Kasa, Kasait, Na, eh, Imekovi. Eh, it was tough, it was tight, it was tight. So, Kila Mtu alikuwa strong, Kila Mtu alikuwa na fight, Na Kila Mtu alikuwa na taka ticket ya kuenda. So, it was good sana. Because if you see Immaculate, Hako strong, Faith Pia, and Beatrice Spear, ni strong, Kasait ni strong. So, na isasema Kila Mtu ni strong. So, Hey, to mengangana, di mushe tu kasa idiana, kwa tu na exchange, maja pigembele, mugi nembele ya.
Nimeenda mlikimbia tena race pamoja ukavunja world record akakuwa namba 2 So sasa hivi na filaje kwa timu pamoja. Ah. Na yeye sasa ana feel vizuri sana. Juu anyango tumekimbia na yeye AK meetings na tumekuwa na yeye hapa kwa hapa. So na furai sana kwa kuwa tumekata na yeye team. Uh, ni poa sana ukiona competitor wako at least hata yeye ana perform pia mna perform na saidiana. So ni mzuri. Eh klam tu ako na wakati yake. Um, immaculate. Congratulations. Ulishinda siri kwa si ndio? Una feel aje sasa hivi umekumemeka kwenda world cross country. Wow, I'm proud of myself. Na shukuru Mungu hakuna kitu kingine naweza sema. Yeah. yeah. So mpango wako sasa hii ukirudi Mm, nikirudi kambi niko train sasa ku prepare world cross. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm so happy. And yeah, I see what Everyone is strong. You see Tibet is strong, Beatrice is there, Kasai Trengeruk. So everyone are strong. Na tulikuwa at least tunasaidiana. Na mimi kenye tulikuwa tunaongea tunasema hakuna haja juu tumebaki waine. Ya nini tuone tungoje tuende tuone huko ngambo at least to make our Kenya proud. Tusiuane hapa na tumailiziane hapa hakuna haja. Yeah. Ah. Na sasa hii um from your region when do you mtu wa kwanza cross country kuna feel aje i'm so happy <laughs> yeah i'm so happy yeah, yeah. ungependa kuambia wasichana wengine nini naambia wasichana wa mama wenzangu wasichana wenzangu everyone ana make imagine so wangangane kila kitu inawezekana bora uko discipline First of all is discipline and to respect God and pray God. Ukiamba Mungu imagine na wezi yaka kunyima? Yeah. All the best. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> that, that was Agnes Ngetich and Immaculate Anyango. They are so happy to, to have made it for the World Cross Country team. And they are hoping that with the, they are going to make it because sababu it's They, it is quite a strong team that Kenya has is going to field for the ladies and they have said that it was a strategy now that they have moved, they were four, remaining only four of them they wanted that to make sure to ensure that they're first in the team and then they are going to to battle for the medals uh, in Serbia over to you Greg what a beautiful oh, beautiful interview there uh, that uh, we've gotten from uh, the winner here today Agnes Jebet Ngetich and of course um, Immaculate Anyango uh, the two athletes who have really entertained the field here today uh, Agnes Jebet Ngetich of course very very grateful for the push that she's gotten from uh, Immaculate she says they've trained together they've been together and it is because of Immaculate uh, that she feels like Uh, she's been able to win here at the end of course she's been able as well to set the world record in the and uh, in the 10 kilometer race as well as the five kilometers as you can see the replay there um, Agnes just having enough really there uh, to lead her to the line I uh, feel like she decided like with 500 meters to go, she was going to make the best up there and she ran a very good race you must say uh, it was going to be anyone even the experience in the field here today given the caliber of the athletes who came here to compete for the uh, women's uh, 10 kilometer you could not call it it was too close Uh, especially with the, the four of them, Agnes uh, Jebet, uh, Lilian Kasait, um, this is Jebet and of course uh, Immaculate Anyango, uh, they decided I think within uh, like five kilometers that they were going to run this race to the finish and uh, you could see the relief, you could see the excitement, you could see uh, how much this meant at both athletes and of course Immaculate they are saying that she cannot wait uh, to go to the World uh, Cross Country Championship happening on the 30th of March in Serbia. Um, uh, she cannot wait to go and fly Kenya's flag there uh, very, very high. And of course, uh, Kenya will be among uh, the countries there uh, expected to make the title there, or not just the individual titles, but the team titles. Remember that uh, at the World Cross Country Championships, uh, you are given uh, the, the gold, uh, the winner gets the, the medal, of course, and of course, uh, there is also team titles to be given. Uh, so you do feel that uh, Kenya have put forward uh, the best, really, um, 
ahead of the championships and uh, it is important uh, that that happens of course uh, because athletics really is the go-to uh, sports for us so congratulations to Agnes uh, Jebet Ngetich the winner here today and of course Immaculate Anyango for securing uh, the title here today in Rueru as we wait uh, for a few other athletes to finish uh, this race, um, you would think that uh, it was done. No, uh, we are still there. Are still, some athletes uh, who are finishing here as um, another athlete crosses the line there from um, the national, rather from the Nyanza North uh, region. There must be Vikodi uh, Chepnetich. Uh, so there are still a few other other athletes who are running here, and we have. Um, the senior men's race also coming up. Uh, we, are, we also have the two kilometer men uh, coming up uh, uh, today. Uh, so there's so much more uh, to come here. Of course, we have the 10 kilometer men, men's race, uh, which should be following up, and that's going to be another very strong field uh, where we expect um, athletes from uh, all the regions. We have uh, Kenya, um, Kenya Defense Forces, KWS, Nairobi, and of course, National Police Service and the North Rift and Central Rift, as well as uh, the, the Eastern Region athletes expected to compete for there. We'll be bringing uh, to you the start list for the upcoming race as well, and we are going to highlight a few athletes as well who we feel will be able to give us a very competitive race. We do hope that the men's uh, competition will have as much fireworks as we've seen in the women's competition. Of course, you can expect that, uh, given that this is one competition that brings together some of not just Kenya's not just the regions but some of the world's best athletes uh, coming here to compete against each other so there's so much more to come here and we do thank you uh, for following us on Facebook on YouTube uh, as we bring live the national cross-country championships happening in Ruiru today so stick with us as we go into the rest of the day.
bendi ya magereza kwa sasa tunawaita washiriki wa kilomita kumi washiriki wa kilomita kumi kwa upande wanaume hii ni wito wa mwisho kabisa wanahitajika wawe wamefika kule koru wanahitajika wao wamefika kule koru uh, kwa minajili ya shindano ambalo uh, litafuata sababu tayari shindano la kilomita kumi kwa kinadada ambayo ilikuwa ni mbio inayo upinzani mkubwa kabisa ambapo tumeweza kumuona Agnes ambaye ndiye mwanadada wa kwanza kukimbia mbio za kilomita kumi chini ya dakika 29 na ndiye anashikilia rekodi ya dunia katika road race aliweza kupata ushindi nafasi ya pili akakuja Immaculate Anyango Aa, kuna watu wanauliza kweni watu wa Nyanza wanaweza mbio ndefu basi mambo ndio hiyo Uh, hiyo ni shahiri kwamba mambo ndio hivyo nafasi ya tatu akakuja mwanariadha wa idara ya magereza Lilian Kasait Lengeruk uh, kamaliza nafasi ya tatu nafasi ya nne uh, the commentary for the national cross country championships in Rio uh, just from a very very great race i must say Uh, in the women's uh, 10 kilometer race won by Agnes Jebet Jebet Nyetich the world's fastest ever athlete in the distance the only woman in the world to have ever run the distance under 29 minutes and of course also huge congratulations to Immaculate Nyango who finished second to book her spot in the upcoming world athletics uh, cross country championships happening in Serbia at the end of this month and of course also Lilian Kasait Lengeruk and Beatrice Chebet who made this race or rather the previous race a very very competitive and great race to watch and now we move swiftly to the men's 10 km distance for the senior men of course and this of course we expect a lot of uh, fireworks here given the caliber of athletes that are here the likes of Sebastian Sawe from Central Rift and of course uh, Nicolas Kimeli who trains in Kaptagat we also have well done Kirui Kipkirui Langat and Kibi Ward Kandie I'm sure these are some of the athletes that are you've had dominating world headlines uh, from Nairobi region you have Ronald Kwemoi and Amos Kirui uh, we also have Geoffrey Kamoror who I can only let Mr Mulemi to give us his take on of course yeah the favorite to win this title here today um definitely <laughs> he is one to watch of course a uh, very experienced uh, long distance runner okay, Geoffrey Kamaror of course on the track and of course uh, here in the cross country finished fourth last year in Australia so he's one of the athletes uh, to look forward to born in 1992 so quite experienced here and uh, at the age of 32 i know he is one of the athletes we'll be looking forward to seeing what he's capable of doing and he has claimed victories in the half marathon thrice in a row from the year 2014 to 2018 he took individual titles in the world cross country championships in 2015 and 2017 and finished third in 2019 um he finished fourth last year after making a comeback following a serious injury uh, that uh, made him slow and even not compete to his fullest at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. So Geoffrey Kamaror is an athlete that has a pedigree of ensuring that he helps even the young lads likes of Ishmael Kirui um, get to their best as they aim to wrestle uh, the world cross country title from Uganda. We know Uganda has been dominating and last year winning through Jacob Kiplimo and uh, Joshua Chepte guy coming in third so it's something that uh, will be of keen interest because the ladies have shown that they are capable of dominating we've seen uh, just what just ended um, with the uh, 
uh, the likes of Immaculate Onyango, now the new kid on the block. Um, we have Lilian Kasait making a comeback and ensuring that she is in race towards winning a medal for Kenya in the 10 kilometers uh, women race. Um, we have the likes of Beatrice Chebet, of course, the national, uh, the national, uh, not the national champion, but uh, the world. Um, champion in the 10 kilometer senior women race and of course uh, we are now talking about Agnes Jebet Ngetich uh, the, one of the fastest actually the fastest uh, woman on earth in the 10 kilometers and that shows you that um, this is a very rich field of interest. and just to uh, for the benefit uh, of the, list, uh, the listener and the viewer of course uh, six athletes six athletes will be selected from each category to represent team Kenya at the World Cross Country Championships to be held in Croatia later on and that signals the type of competition that is here so uh, after this uh, the completion of the races of course we'll have a team selection ceremony and of course the team will be named the, uh, the flag handed over and of course preparations for the World Cross Country Championships to be held uh, later on in Serbia in the city of Belgrade and that shows you that uh, today is a day that uh, those who are prepared will be earning their tickets those who aren't prepared of course uh, will be uh, trying out of course uh, in other places of course we've been talking about uh, uh, Ismail Kirui uh, of course um, the heir to Ismail Kirui is of course and uh, uh, we are talking about the teenage sensation uh, Ishmael Kirui, uh, who is the one to watch here. Remember, he is the world junior champion in the cross country, um, and he says that he's leaving nothing to chance as his quest for global glory uh, comes to, near, uh, to, to, to a near realization. At uh, 17 years, he has already booked a ticket uh, to the cross country, but he wants to start it here after winning the under 20 kilometers uh, uh, race. Uh, and of course, we are looking forward to seeing what he's capable of doing. And um, Ismail Kiru is a name to watch, of course, Steve. And uh, of course, we have the likes of Reynold Kip Courier, uh, those who will be taking part in the two kilometer race. But uh, you will look at the way it's been lined up here. Uh, Geoffrey Camoror might be saying that this is his last throw of the dice, double ch uh, world champion in the, world, in the cross country, and now finished fourth in Australia. He's ready to conquer the world again. Let's see what he's capable of doing. Absolutely, Greg. Um, remember, he f did not finish on the podium last year. Uh, it was pretty much a photo finish between him and Joshua Chapter Guy from Uganda, um, of course, who delivered the bronze medal for Uganda, who won the title last year uh, through Jacob Kiplimo uh, with Ethiopia's Berihu Aregawi finishing second. So um, I can see like a whole list of the athletes who represented Kenya in the previous edition, uh, of course led by Geoffrey Kamoror, uh, is his year today uh, looking to uh, grab another chance to go at the title uh, this year. We also have Kibu Watkandie uh, here today and he will be running for the Kenya Defence Forces. Uh, keep your eye on him, uh, Bib number 27. Uh, he finished fifth last year and of course we also have Daniel Ebenyo who was there last year uh, finishing in 30 minutes and uh, one second. And of course we also have Sebastian Sawe who was the, fourth, the fourth member uh, in the team, as well as Nicolas Kipkorir and Emmanuel Kiprop Kipuruto. So Kenya has put their best foot forward, of course, as they look to um, defend the team title, uh, which Kenya had not won uh, since 2011, um, and uh, having, uh, and, but they won it last year after like four four years of dominance by Ethiopia and Uganda in 2019. Uh, so Kenya will not just be looking to uh, defend the title, but they'll be also be looking to defend the, the senior title, but also uh, be looking to win some individual title for this race. As the athletes line up on the starting lane, um, as we wait to, for the gun to start the men's senior race here. A very, very competitive field, a field
full of experience here. And we'll be there with you as the starters gun is off and the athletes are in it. Always a very strong start, of course, uh, with the athletes looking to put themselves in a very good position and avoid overcrowding, of course, which can lead to accidents and majors and your race before it starts. A uh, very, very strong field here. Uh, a group of very fine athletes, some of the world's best middle and long distance runners are here uh, today as we look uh, for the athletes who will represent Kenya in Serbia at the end of this month. Um, as you see, bib number 115 are uh, taking the lead there. Uh, basically just putting his head and shoulders above the rest and uh, like I mentioned, uh, trying to avoid uh, the crowding at the, at the start. Bib number 115 there, Rogers. Kipchirchir Murey uh, from Iten. This is the 10 uh, kilometer senior men race, a race that promises fireworks looking at how well this is prepared and in second place of course as we had talked about that is Geoffrey Kamoror and looking at the way he's taking that uh, the strides in these early stages of the 10 kilometers that shows you that this is promising to be a very 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 interesting race and this is, these are the national cross country championships if you are joining us we are live from the kenya prisons staff training college in ruiru in the out, outskirts of nairobi and we're bringing you this and remember afterwards we'll have the two kilometers both men and women and this is the 10 kilometers senior men's race early in this in early early days here but of course look at the way they're taking the course ensuring that this will be a spectacle you've talked about the likes of Geoffrey Kamoror, Ismail Kirui who is the world junior champion in this one and of course we'll be looking at the likes of um, we'll be looking at the likes of um, uh, Robert Kiprop and of course Amos Korir um, who reigns who, who hails from Gilgil, quite experienced, born in 1998. We'll be looking at Wesley Yego, Kibiwot Kandie, Nicholas Kimeli, of course, Sebastian Sawe, another name to watch out for. And this is uh, going to be very, very interesting. But first things first, the lead pack as we head towards the first, the completion of the first lap. And that is Geoffrey Kamoror still in second place. That's the leading pack of the ten, uh, the ten kilometer senior men's race and. Of course, Sawe in the mix. Kamoror seems to have put on some weight still. <laughs> Currently in third. <laughs> yeah, I noticed the same. <laughs> yeah, it's um, being an athlete is not easy because <laughs> uh, um, people will always look at you in a way that they don't look at the rest, really. Um, of course. We are used to seeing uh, long distance uh, runners, you know, they are a bit more uh, lean as compared to other athletes, of course. You can do, and Omanyala cannot do this race, um, so the leaner you are, the better it is, of course, uh, uh, for you. And um, yeah, Kamoro does look like he has put in on a bit of weight, uh, but I'm sure he'll be able to manage it. <laughs> or oh, maybe it's just the cameras, uh, maybe you should get close and um, uh, watch him with the naked eye, eye and uh, we may be able to establish whether that's uh, true or not. But I mean, irrespective of that, of course, you expect him to be uh, among the favorites here today. Um, a very, very experienced um, runner he is, um, has been there, has done it, uh, still doing it. Has a lot of experience on, on his shoulders. Um, he's ran the distance really across the world. So, um, of course, um, 
it's his experience here today that will count. Uh, he knows how to control the races, of course. Um, he knows where to pick up his pace. Uh, so we do expect him uh, to be among the winners here as he looks to represent Kenya again at the World Championships, uh, World Cross Country Championships, rather. Uh, remember, he finished um, in fourth place last year, um, losing out on the podium to Joshua Chapter Guy from Uganda who on a photo finish and that was one of the best races we've seen and of course Kenya looking to win the the title they won the team title last year uh, but the individual title has been a bit elusive of course thanks to the likes of chapter guy and last year's winner Kiplemo from Uganda um, as you see here bib number 024 in the lead here, uh, that is Musioka Mweke from Kenya Defense Forces. Musioka Mweke in the lead, of course, closely followed by uh, Mr. Geoffrey Kamoror and, of course, Rafael Lochisa of Eastern also coming in uh, very, very closely as they finish the first lap of this 10 kilometers senior men's race happening here at the prison's training college in Ruiru. And, of course, beautiful photos there, beautiful images coming through your way. And we are streaming live on your Facebook pages and, of course, on YouTube. Also, watch out in the mix is um of course we said uh, Geoffrey Camoror in bib number 53 also watch out for uh, national police service the likes of Robert Kiprop Nabe Kiplimo uh, from Kenya Defense Forces we have the likes of Dismas Lokira Kibiwot Kandie a man who's always been there that is Geoffrey Camoror in your cameras it's a it's a police one too of course uh, that is Geoffrey Camoror and Anes Kimutai uh, currently in the lead of uh, that one of course an eastern region led by Musioka Mueke and of course um Rafael Ochisa they're trying to ensure that they stay toe to toe neck to neck stride to stride, uh, stride for stride with the leading pack and watch us also for the men from the Kenya Defense Forces who are also uh, making sure that they are in there. Remember, Kenya lost the crown after Geoff Geoffrey Kamarau had won it, but then uh, it's been a dominance of the Ugandans, and it's now time for them to reclaim and looking at the shape of these uh, men who are really, really talented, then you give yourself a chance to say that may maybe, maybe this is the year of redemption. So this is the time for the men in the 10 kilometer race. First of all, to earn the tickets, six automatic tickets up for grabs then afterwards we talk about who's gonna get the gold who's gonna wrestle the title from jacob kiplimo uh, joshua chapter guy and of course the ethiopian who finished in uh, second uh, last time I'm, I'm talking about berhinu aregawi i remember kenya finished in position four through joffrey jo kamurer at the world championships in Bathurst, australia and of course kibi watkandie who is also inside here came in position number five uh, daniel simiu ebenyo uh, came in sixth with Sebastian Sawe, who is also here, came in uh, seventh place. So that is what happened in Australia. But we are in Ruiru, in Nairobi, uh, in the outskirts of Nairobi, not in Nairobi really, but the larger Nairobi metropolitan area, bringing you this 10 kilometer race. And that is Geoffrey Cameron, always showing that he is ready to lead from the front. Always loves front running, uh, doesn't he, Cameron? Um, his figure is always quite evident you can always almost pick him from the crowd uh, as he looks to book another ticket to the world cross country championships uh, remember he's won the title twice um, in 2015 as well as 2017 until the emergence of the two ugandans uh, joshua chapter guy and jacob kiplimo who have won the last two titles so it is Another chance here for Kamoror to show his dominance over this distance, of course, and ensure that he books Kenya a ticket to the World Cross Country Championships and, of course, lead a team of four or five other athletes uh, who will be flying Kenya's flag high at the championships in Belgrade. And, of course, as this goes on, Athletics Kenya has... Uh, uh, decided to do a noble course by uh, giving some donation to the Kenya Prison Training College staff and uh, 
a couple of toiletries um of course uh the necessities of course i can't put them that way that that's a good gesture from athletics kenya who are being hosted by the kenya prison staff here in ruiru today and that's a good gesture from them at least um they're showing signs of humanity there and everything that is happening and of course we back on we are used to track this is not a track we are used to the course we are back on course and of course uh, this is the 10 kilometer uh, senior men's race and those are officials from athletics kenya uh, giving donations to the kenya prisons training college uh, institution here in ruiru and we're back on on the course and that's now getting better faster thicker and of course uh, watch out for this group of athletes of course we are looking forward to seeing who will who, who'll break the ice mm, at the moment it is um Geoffrey Kamaro in second place you look at how though he seems to have added weight but he looks really strong uh, talk of a man who is in control of who is uh, that's Geoffrey Kamoror for you. Uh, looks very comfortable. You feel like he's just biding his time um, as the race unfolds. Uh, but really, you can't call it here. Everyone is still there. Uh, I can see there bib number 20 from Eastern Region, James Mwanzia, is in there. Uh, bib number 51 from National Police Service there, Naibe Kiplimo, is in the mix as well. Uh, as well as, of course, Kamoror. Uh, who is expected to win here today, Mulemi? Watch out for this young man, Ishmael Kirui, currently in third place, um, just behind Kamoror. And this is the man we've been talking about, the world junior champion in cross country. And he knows that he has a chance of beating the rest of the field to represent Kenya at the world cross country championships. He's doing great. Look at him currently in third. But then watch out for Geoffrey Rono, also from Central Region, born in 2004, 1st of January 2004, taking the hill nicely and going down hill just ahead of Kamoror who now takes the lead with Ishmael uh, turning also um, the gear saying that now it's time to shuffle things and maybe take the lead so it's Ishmael in the lead at, at, at the moment Rono and Kamoror also in the mix this is proving to be very 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 interesting and we'll be waiting to see how it pans out nothing much to separate the first nine group of runners in this 10 kilometer race and of course we are looking at Rono taking the lead Ishmael uh, Kirui in third place remember he is the world junior champion Geoffrey Kamoror two-time world cross-country champion and of course Rono will be fancying his chances, maybe book the first six spots for these athletes who, wants, who want to represent the country at the World Cross Country Championships in Belgrade, Serbia. You can't really uh, separate them right now. Um, I feel like the pace has really done a lot of, or a lot of those other athletes a big favor. No one has really uh, put in the high gears on the race so far, um, I think that's why we are, they are still pretty much uh, racing together. And of course, as the race progresses, we expect this field uh, to stretch a bit more and for them really to separate the big boys, uh, the men from the, the boys from the men, uh, if I can use that. <laughs> this is a senior race. Uh, so if you're a boy, then you're in the wrong place. <laughs> But it's all about finding out who will be the um, national champion in the next few minutes. But look at those beautiful images. Yonder is the larger Ruiru uh, sub-county here in Kiambu County in Nairobi metropolitan region. But back to the race. Uh, that is Geoffrey Kamoror still showing signs of what he's known to be. One of the finest long-distance athletes in the country over the last decade. And he's showing it right here by taking control of matters in the 10 kilometers uh, senior men's race here. And you can see the strides taking like a meter or two lead uh, ahead of Rono. Um, Ishmael Kiru is also striding in, coming in third. And you can see those beautiful, beautiful images. The course looks amazing. 
it's not rainy it's not sunny it's just lukewarm for everything the beautiful weather for athletics and we are here at the ruiru uh, prison staff training college who've just received a massive donation from athletics kenya and it goes a long way to ensuring that everything everyone is happy uh, the athletes the staff and everybody else who is involved in making sure that everything is a success here and that is joffrey camaro look at the way he's taking the strides really strong really energetic and he knows that he has a chance of making sure that he crosses the tape and look at him then that is ishmael kirui currently in second place ron falling falling away a little bit into a uh, fourth position at the moment and this is getting sweeter ishmael kirui currently in the lead joffrey Camoror not shaking ensuring that he's still in there as they take um the flat surface right now and you can see through the beautiful images there that Geoffrey Camoror is like, let me lead the way you guys follow. Look out at who this man is. I'm a former world cross country champion, two time road, uh, three time world half marathon champion. So Geoffrey Camoror knows what it takes to maneuver through such uh, conditions and maybe earn something and you can see also a representative from the northeastern they are really trying hard and you know with the conditions you say that it's never easy for anyone but in the lead currently it's joffrey uh, uh, joffrey Camoror, followed by the world junior cross-country champion ishmael kirui of course like we've mentioned not such a high pace race here today of course remember that these athletes who are able to run faster come or um, having one of the fastest times really on the field uh, but that was some time back in Eugene in 2016 in 2015 rather when he clocked uh, 26 minutes 50, 52 seconds last year he was only able to run uh, just over 29 minutes as he finished fourth um, behind um, chapter guy in last year's world cross country championships uh, he looks like he wants to end this race early now um, of course he's just putting some big strides on top um, there and uh, some athletes are finding it difficult uh, to keep up with him um, of course except for the world junior uh, champion there who's in there in the mix also here uh, bib number 77 here who is from Nyanza North region, uh, Samuel Chebeloy, um, who's o of course also wants uh, to grab that title to represent Kenya uh, in Belgrade later this year. So I believe there's a bit of pace here that has been injected by Kamoror, um, and you can see that has split the field a bit uh, from a group of like eight, uh, nine, nine athletes to around five here, Mulemi. So it shows you that um, we are getting towards the business end of the of the race here um, as Kamweror settles into second spot now actually third and it seems like we are getting into the business end of this race of course now it's upon them to control the races and you look out uh, for the likes of Samuel Chebole also in the mix uh, watch out for this man um, Geoffrey Kamoror, of course, and we are talking about uh, the likes of uh, Ishmael Kirui Rokito. The man who's always shown that he's capable of doing it uh, in any category, does it, has done it in the youth. Now he's trying out in the senior, and of course, you see he's capable of doing it. And you can feel that everyone in this field. Everybody who's participated in the 10 kilometers senior men's race is able to conquer the world. Regardless of the position, you can feel the energy, you can feel the adrenaline, you can feel the urge and the zeal, of course, to take over. It's just a matter of how well were you prepared and how did you time your race nicely. And I know these are things that the coaches will be looking forward to, especially when a team is selected to go to the camp because they know they have a mission to top the world again. And that is Geoffrey Camoror showing experience showing the need and the urge to stay at the top. Geoffrey Ron, of course, also in the mix, but Ishmael Kirui, 
giving a gesture to uh, Rono to tell him, okay, look here, we can't do this. But Geoffrey Kamoro telling them, yes, I'm still the master in this one. So um, we still got some few, uh, few, 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 few meters to go. But then you look at how they've lined up a pool of six in the lead. No one has said that it's a fa he is a favorite here. No one has made the move. And that shows you that um, it will be a very, very tight race unless someone makes a move right now. But currently, it is Kamoror, Rono, Kirui in that leading pack and that shows you that this is very, very tight. And if you're joining us, this is the 10 kilometer senior men's race and of course afterwards we'll have the two kilometer uh, men and women races uh, of course that will also be um, uh, part of the business end of the season there's a team that will be selected after all to sele uh, after all this to represent the country at the world cross country championships with Geoffrey Camoror ensuring that he's still in the mix he's still the name to beat in in the uh, cross country look at him very 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 strong look at him he knows how to control everything and he's showing that he has what it takes to represent kenya again in this these championships of course exchanging the leads there and of course this year will be the 45th edition of the world cross country championships and as they say it's one of the oldest competitions uh, rather races uh, in the global uh, athletics calendar many athletes use this as a pre-season of course and uh, many try to ensure that they get in shape after this because after afterwards is when the grand prix starts and every other thing but in on your screens right now is Kamoror and kirui taking shape slowly by slowly ensuring that everything that is happening right now um is one that means business. Look at that shift in pace, but Kamoro not giving up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is the time now where your tactics really come into play. This is the time now where the coaches uh, will be like, this is how we control this race now going forward. I don't think uh, Kamoro will be interested in seeing anyone really go ahead of him because they can within a split second it could be that you are close and then the race is pretty much done so this is a time you run close this is the time where it's your mental energy that takes uh, effect of course the race is run physically but also it stretches you mentally uh, because you have to try to outwit um, your uh, your fellow athletes of course uh, just to ensure that you get that title uh, remember there are only there are only six Sports available here, um, and the leading pack here is of seven athletes. Uh, so there is one who will miss out on this title. Um, there are only there is only one who will miss out on this title. And um, as you get to the business end of this race, and Kamoro still leads here, and he looks as comfortable as possible here. And of course, so are the other athletes. So it's really anyone's call here. I don't. Um, I do feel like this will mirror the previous race, uh, the women's race, uh, which we had all the like four athletes really keep together until, of course, um, the last half kilometer, whereby Agnes decided, no, I'm going to take this home. I don't know what you feel about how this is going to pan out uh, towards the finish line. Very, very close as they take the hill. Of course, watch out also for Bernard Langat. Um, this man also, Bernard Kiplangat of South Rift also in the mix. So it's still too close to call. And you can see uh, the leading group of athletes, eight in total at the moment, as they head towards that bend. And you can see right now, it's the, ma the man we were talking about, uh, Rono and Kirui, both of them from Central Rift, trying so hard to ensure that they 
get this on to their own hands and keep matters onto their own hands and it's something that is really really interesting Gideon Rono are uh, currently uh, from the Central Reef region a very young man born in 2004 and of course Ismail Kirui um, Rokito the world junior champion over the distance are currently uh, trying to pace out with the rest of the field and you can see it is very very interesting look at how they are keeping a close eye to each other and it is something that is uh, uh, making us witness a very 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 interesting reign so it's rono in the lead kamoro currently in second and of course langat in third and look at how they have lined up uh, towards uh, this lap that of course is defining you can feel that they've separated from the rest of the field and it's something that is really really interesting so will it be kamoro rono kirui or of course the likes of um, rokito Remember afterwards, and we'll have the two-kilometer senior women's race. We'll be giving you the lineup in a bit, but the ten-kilometer senior men's race slowly taking shape. In heading towards the last lap, less than a kilometer to go. It's getting intense as they take that hilly area. quite some good 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 running conditions here in Ruiru and that is Bernard Kiplangat Ishmael Kirui currently in second Geoffrey Kamarol not letting it go currently in fourth place and he knows exactly what to do they know that they're heading towards the latter stages of this one they want that ticket to build great So Samuel Chebule also coming up in the mix at the moment in the lead currently. Kamoror there, Rono in the mix, Kirui also. Very, very group talented of athletes here. They know exactly what to do, when to do it, and they are showing it here in Ruiru tearing away from the rest of the park and that shows you that they are capable of flying the Kenyan flag high and maybe just maybe reclaiming the senior title from Uganda remember this is the last lap of the 10 kilometer race so we are waiting for fireworks who will it be Kamoror, Rono, Chebole or Kirui And that is that is Ishmael Kirui currently in the lead. Rono currently in fourth. Kamoror trying to keep up pace, but that is the man. It's now taking shape. Heading towards that bend that defines. Samuel Chebole currently in second, Kamoror in third, and Rono in uh, Kamorero in fourth. Che Rono in third. Heading into the home stretch right now. We'll be looking forward to see how it's going to end towards the last 100 meters. And that is the world junior champion, Ishmael Kirui, taking the lead. And he will be running home, closely followed by Mr. Chebole. But it is Kirui winning this one. Geoffrey Comarol finishing fourth, and that was intense. Absolutely intense, and it was decided really in the final 300 meters there. Uh, Ismail Kirui, 
taking the title here, showing why he is the best junior athlete we have in the country as far as the men's race is concerned. And of course, there are Samuel Chebuloy and Geoffrey Kamwaror also ensuring that they'll be in Belgrade at the end of this month. Um, very, very controlled race here. It was too close to call, really, as four or five athletes really just ran together up until when Ismail Kirui decided, you know what, I am done with this pace. I need to make this my own. I need to show the world that I'm not a junior anymore. I am ready to go to the world stage and ensure that I am giving competition to the likes of Jacob Kip, um, Kiplimo and Joshua Chapter Guy, and of course to my fellow Kenyan athletes. And he'll be leading Kenya as they try to wrestle the individual title from Uganda. And of course, given the race that he's ran, given the, the way he's been on form, you really can't bet against him. Uh, definitely, it will be very, very hard to beat this man who's shown the prowess and the resilience to ensure that he dominates the local scene. And of course, very many journalists coming by and of course bloggers and everyone else and it's a very 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 uh, beautiful thing to see when the, uh, these athletes are covered here at the national levels man, instead of just waiting for the um, the, the, the world, uh, world championships and stuff like that but uh, in a bit we'll be handing over to charity um, to hear what she has from the finish line so if charity you are ready please take it away ya moyo kabisa. Eh, kwa ni hata tukakapokuwa tukaenda katika ile mashindano ya upingwa wa dunia na mambo na mashindano mengine kule ugaiduni kila wakati tunakuwa tuna imani kwamba wanariadha wetu watafanya vizuri na kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba ardhi ya taifa letu la Kenya inazidi kuwa juu na kuheshimika kabisa na kusalia katika ramani ya dunia katika mashindano ya riadha. Hususan ndio zanyika. Lakini kipekee E, ni mshukuru luteni kanali Paul Tergat ambaye yuko hapa leo kwa kuweza e, kwa kushinda ama kuwa mshindi maratano katika mashindano ya dunia e, hapo wanariadha wanatifuza kutoka kwa kwake na kujua mambo yanaweza ama yanawezekana manake ukifanya vizuri unakuwa basi wakuigwa basi katika hili e, ni mpongeze tu ama ni muenzi tu luteni kanali Paul Tergat Five times world champion cross country. Being a maratano, bio zanika, e katika ubingwa wa dunia. Five times world cross country champion. He be basi kila monaria dana hisi. Vile vile anaweza kwa kuwa luteni kanali Paul Tergat adiweza. Unacho hitaji tu ni nidam, mazoezi mazuri na kutokuwa. Na, kule, na kuwa tuna moyo ujasiri na wakutokata tamaa Usushinda leo unafanya bidii kesho Unaeza kufanya vizuri Maadabu tu uzidi kufanya vizuri e, Na kufuata yale maagizo ya kufunzi Na mambo kama hayo Bila shaka unajieka katika nafasi zuri sana tu Ya kuwa mshindi wa kitaifa na vile vile kima taifa Mambo ya kwa uzuri tu Asante sana, asante sana. Tuzindu kwa pigia makofi wa napo uzindi kutamatisha. Shizano hini, manake, siyo jambo lepezi, lakini ni jambo nzito tu, lakini cha unoma kile kinachovutia ni kwamba wanariado wa wetu huwa wabijianda vizu kabisa kwa hini ya shizano hini. Tumpigia makofi wa napo uzindi kutamatisha shizano. Shukli zito hii. Lakini... Makofi, makofi, makofi. Nikana na mazizi. Eee, naona ni mwana liyana. Nikana na mwana liyana. Nika chitaidi. Na nika pata kuwa mshini. Ya, na shukuru. Una, 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 una combination ya Simon, 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 una kamururur. 
na unaonaje mtaenda kuwa pamoja toka hapa kienda tutaenda kama timu na tutaenda kusaidia na shetaro la kinadada kule serpio kitibu cha kinadada title mnaona mkichukua tena final call final call mashiriki wa kilomita 2 kitibu cha kinadada tuelekee koru all the best and congratulations women tuelekee koru Two kilometers women tuelekee korum tuelekee korum tafadhali kwa sababu ya muda na Simon um, congratulations mmaliza wa pili um, ulikimbia siri kwa pia eh, na, na leo mwili umefeel aje mazoezi iko vipi kwako Eh yeah, mazoezi yamekuwa mzuri naambia leo imekuwa mzuri imekuwa competitive tumekuwa na wanariadha ambao ambao ni hali ya juu international na ambie itakuwa rais ikuwa namba mbili kwangu ni jambo ambalo imenifurahisha kwa sababu nimekuwa nikikimbia cross country kwa muda na vile vile nimekuwa na ile experience kidogo so hiyo ndio imenisaidia angalau nilikuwa natarajia kuwa namba moja lakini nasikia vizuri kwa kuwa namba mbili yeah. na sasa hii kwa mazoezi unaenda kumpengine kuongezea nini yeah, kwa sasa hii najua my coaches wamekuwa hapa na wameona kama kuna mahali ambapo na style kufanya maybe speed work maybe kwa na endurance ama long run so hiyo itakuwa ni ya coaches kwa sababu wenyewe ndio wanajua ni nini ambacho nimelaa kwa siku ya leo okay all the best and thank you okay. um that that was Simon Chebule and Sebastian Sawe. Sebastian Sawe has finished first in the 10 km race for the senior men and Simon Chebule has finished second. We are also joined by the third athlete. Um kwa majina unaitwa nani? Eh kwa majina naitwa Kidwan Rono. Na trainer na trainer Tarongo Camp. And kidogo uh, kidogo. Niko Japan company and naitwa Logistics company. Yes. Ume feel a the environment change of environment Japan na huku weather imeku affect kidogo leo jo eh uh, weather hapa uh, leo imekuwa choto kidogo though Japan sometime kuna summer seasons so hata summer iko hot sana mm. yeah ah all the best and congratulations thank you um we are also joined by former world cross champion Geoffrey Kamuror Kamuror it's been long ume feel a decide leo ume make to the team for the world cross uh, <coughs> today's, today's competition was great was good i just came here to feel uh, how my body uh, is responding in competition because uh, last year i got a serious injury which uh, kept me away for some time i just resumed the training in december so i just came here to feel uh, the competition and to represent uh, national police service but uh, my aim was not here to come here to make the Kenyan team because I just come here for for the competition and in preparation to the marathon which I'll be preparing in April. Yeah. Oh, all the best. You uh, so so far you coming to test your endurance. How is it? Ah, uh, now it's okay. I'm feeling I'm uh, seventy eight percent fit. So by the time it reaches April, I'll be okay to go. Yes. Okay. All the best and congratulations. Thank you. Um, that uh, th we've just concluded the 10 kilometer race for the men. We had um, Sebastian Sawe finishing first in the in the race, and then we also had um, uh, Gideon Rono. Uh, Sam uh, sorry, Samuel Chebule finishing second, and Gideon Rono taking the third place. Geoffrey Kamurora said that he. Will Today's race was to just to test his endurance level as he prepares for his his marathon competition in April. Over to you, Greg. A great interview there, uh, Charity, with the winner of the men's senior race, Sebastian Sawe, as well as uh, Samuel Chebelo, who finished second and Ismail Kirui who finished third as well as the legend himself Kamoror who finished fourth and he says that he didn't really come here today to qualify for the world championships but just to test his endurance uh, as he prepares for a marathon in, in, in April uh, but shows you how much class he has how much experience he has that he is able to qualify or rather to uh, qualify among the top athletes even when he doesn't want to come or 
showing class there two time world cross country champion and of course three time world cross uh, world half marathon champion and of course an olympian by standard so uh, Geoffrey Camarol showing us that he's capable of maintaining those standards and you can feel uh, from the way he's talking that maybe he's shrugged off that injury and ready to conquer the world and we are ready for the two kilometers women race this will be very interesting and looking at uh, how they've lined up the two kilometers uh, race uh, the women race and you look at the line up you're like oh. This will be very, 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 very hard to tell who's able. But as Steve, look, look at how the 10 kilometer senior men race was won. Yeah, very good finish there by the winner today, uh, Sebastian Sawe, who finished, who actually competed in last year's world championships and finished seventh. Of course, he'll be looking to improve on that time and ensure that uh, Kenya get that, gets that title from Uganda. Uh, showing his experience there, the 27-year-old who has made it to Sabia later in the year. You can see him rocking his head there, big smile, arms wide, as he celebrates victory here today, beating a very, very competitive field. I feel that it was difficult really to know who was going to finish in the podium. But he won it there, nice and easy. You can see Kamoror as well, stopping his watch there. You can see the grin on his face, showing that he indeed, as he claims, has only resumed running in December after fighting off an injury. But it's experience sometimes that counts, and for Kamoror it did. And of course, congratulations also to Samuel Chebeloy who finished second and uh, Ismail Kirui as well as Kamoro of course those four gentlemen making it to Belgrade later this month as we wait for the women's two kilometer race here Mulemi and like you are mentioning this is exciting it's gonna be fast it's gonna be, gonna be quick it's gonna be exciting. Watch out for the likes of Sheila Jebet, Naomi Jalimo, Catherine Mwatika, Lydia Geruto uh, from Kenya Defense Forces, Sela Jepleting, of course, she'll be running in bib number 268, Lilian Odira, Miriam Cherop, uh, representing the Home Tough uh, Kenya Prison Service. Also, watch out for KWS, Dorothy Gaki, Jocelyn Chelangat, uh, Miriam Cherop. Wilfred Mbithe, Emily Kemunto, Marcy Jeb Kemoy, Elizabeth Katevi, Michelle Cherotich, Joylin Chapngeno, uh, Mildred Masaba, um, just to name but a few, Purity Chep Kurui, and that is the, fin the uh, athlete uh, who's, who's been competing in the 10 kilometer senior men race, completing uh, that race and representing northeastern province, and that signals the end of uh, that race. Uh, uh, Adan C and Osman uh, finishing the 10 kilometer race. This man from the northeastern showing the endurance, especially with the conditions here. Coming to compete and finishing is not an easy task, especially from uh, this kind of perspective. And Osman will be proud of himself, making sure that he has completed the 10 kilometer senior men's race. And the shift now, uh, the focus now shifts to the two kilometers uh, women race, uh, where we, uh, we've talked about, uh, we, we've mentioned the likes of um, the likes of Joyce Josephine Chalangat, uh, Miriam Cherob, Vivian Virginia Nyambura, and of course, Gladys David, uh, Janet Niva, Sharon Konga, Sharon Cheruto, Joylin Jerotich. Um, I can see Lillian Kasait Lengeruk's name here. I don't know if she'll be competing. We'll be waiting to see if that happens. Naomi Masibo, Sheila Chepngeno, Sheila Jabet. So that is part of the lineup for the two kilometer senior women's, uh, two kilometer women race. It's the second last event of this one. After that, we'll have the men's race. And in the men's race, look out for the likes of Dominic Lokongong, Dokolong, uh, John Lik uh, Lokibe, Johnson Tenkes, Stanley Waitaka. Stephen Masinde, Eden Kiplimo, Emmanuel Wanyonyi, uh, Regan Kipkorir, Gideon Mwoki, Dennis Rono, 
Ezekiel Letaya kiumbe munguti uh, Kennedy Kosge uh, Kiprugut Boas of Kenya Prison Service uh, Ngeno Kipngetich Matthew Kipsang of Kenya Wildlife Service um, watch also for Abel Kipsang the favorite in this one National Police Service um, Reynold Kip Career, another great name to look forward to in the two kilometers men race, which will be the last event of the day here. Of course, Wilberforce Cornes, Wilfos Felix Kip Tanui, uh, Solomon Kimutai, uh, Timothy Kimutai, watch out for uh, Constantine Chariot, Newton Kip Kurui, Vincent Kip Kigon Langat, Amos Ndote, James Musembi of Southern, Levi Kip Kurui, Gibson Kip Kiprop, and Edwin Kiprono. There is also Munir Mohammed of North Eastern Region. Some of the athletes to look forward to in the 10 2 kilometers men race. But the 2 kilometer women race will be starting in a bit. Yeah, and of course, uh, look out for the likes of Virginia Nyambura, um, who specializes in the staple chase. Uh, so for her, I think here today she'll just be looking at working on her speed uh, Virginia the gold medal medalist in the 2010 Summer Youth Olympics and of course look out also for Winfred Mbide who won who is a world cross-country mixed relay gold medalist so a very very experienced field here uh, we expect today as we await for the start of the two kilometers uh, women race we wait to see what will transpire in this one. If you're joining us, it's the PM, the World Cross Country Championship slots up for grabs. And it all starts here with the National Cross Country Championships. Just checking through some of the dignitaries that have graced this occasion. The beautiful songs, the courtesy of uh, the uh, Kenya Prison Service staff. And that's the beautiful image of the, tr uh, the course to be used by athletes running in the two kilometers women race that should be underway in a bit already in the call room waiting to be cleared for action And they walk in to the start point of the two kilometer women race. There's one gruesome lap of this one. So the likes of Sela Jepleting, Dorothy Gaki, Penina Wangari, Virginia Nyambura, Winfred Mbite, Emily Kemunto. Catherine Mwatika will be trying out to see who reigns supreme and makes it to team Kenya for the World Cross Country Championships. So it's one lap of this two kilometer race. And I know this will be fast and furious because there are no second chances in this one. So if you're joining us, this is the la second last event of the day, the two kilometers women race that will be followed by the men's race. And we are live from the Kenya Prison Staff Training College in Ruiru. So we await for the start of the two kilometers women race.
and just a reminder afterwards we'll have the team naming and the award ceremony and the speeches and that's the start of the two kilometers uh, women race and you can straight along feel that nobody wants to be left behind here because it's only one lap and whoever sleeps here then this will be a chance missed Nyambura National Police Service is there. This is going to be a fast race. Only one lap. South this the Nyan two kilometer race and straight along. We see the field slowly taking shape. So it's down to five in the lead at the moment. So if you blink, then you might just miss out some great piece of action. Remember, the winners, rather, a team will be picked to represent the country in the World Cross Country Relay Championships, which will also be held in Belgrade. This is a team that will be it will, it will be a mixed relay team and of course afterwards we'll also have the men race to see who actually uh, runs the day so two ladies and two men from the two kilometers men and women will be chosen in the final relay team so one lap of this one who will it be Now it's three as they head towards the road, the path that will take them direct to that hilly area. So this is the f two kilometers. women race for the mixed relays so the first two positions up to up for grabs and remember the first time the mixed relays were held was in 2017 this was introduced in trend in 2017 and you look how kenya has fared on since total dominance currently uh, holding the world crown and you look at how the team that participated in Australia it, of course Kenya won in a time of 23 minutes 14 seconds ahead of Ethiopia who came in second in 23 minutes 21 seconds and of course the hosts australia came in third in a time of 23 minutes 26 seconds so it was a really call cool, a close call in australia and this year team kenya will be aiming to retaining the title as they head downhill this is the two kilometers women race two athletes will be sure of being selected to be part of that mixed relay team that will be heading to Belgrade in Serbia. Second last event of the day. Still waiting to see who will break the ice. Beautiful images there. 
coming live and direct from Ruiru. Virginia Wambura currently in the lead and she looks really strong. Virginia Nyambura of National Police Service coming in strongly as they head towards their home stretch. Virginia Nyambura strong in that one. Striding home. Coming into the band, into the last. Few meters of this one and Virginia Nyambura will be finishing this race as the winner representing National Police Service. Just ahead of. Vivian Cherotich, so it's Vivinia Nyambura and Vivian Cherotich in a one two. Newton, it's Vivian Cherotich winning that, uh, coming in. Vivian Nyambura winning that one with Vivian Cherotich coming in second. So that's the end of the two kilometer women race. So one more to go. Nice and easy win there by Virginia Nyambura, I must say. The 3,000 meters steeplechase specialist representing the National Police Service here. Winning here ahead of Virginia winning here to ensure that she books her ticket in the upcoming World cro Cross Country Championships happening at the end of the year, at the end of the month rather, in Serbia, in the women's two kilometer race. The penultimate action here in Rero today. Just one more event today, the men's equivalent of what we've just seen, as a few other athletes. Cross the line and a few others collapse. It's gotten a bit too hot here in Ruiru today. Uh, so you do understand when some of these athletes need help at the finish line. Uh, but we have the medical team, of course, always waiting at the finish line to give them the much needed help. As a few other athletes come towards the finish line, it's never as easy as it looks sometimes on the eye until you put on your boots, put on your running shoes, and give it a shot. Um, our charity will be uh, grabbing Virginia as well as uh, the other athletes who have finished in the podium places here uh, just to get you here how they did it and what it means to them as they prepare to go to Sabi at the end of the month and pursue further dominance for Kenya at the World Cross Country Championships. Uh, remember all these events coming to you from the Kenya Prison Staff Training College in Rueru, in the outskirts of the Nairobi Metropolitan. It's a national cross country championships. 
uh, which an event which is also being used to choose the team that will represent Kenya at the World Cross Country Championships happening on the 30th of March in Belgrade, Serbia. A competition that was initially scheduled for Croatia. Uh, but then glory be to God. Kwa kupotea nimeenda matanet. Hiyo harakati ya kurudi haijakuwa rahisi but nashukuru Mungu. Now I'm back. Belgrade unaenda. Naenda. By the grace of God. Yeah. Mazoezi sasa unaona uta improve nini? Leo uko na jua course imekuwa vipi kwako? Una feel mwili vipi? Mimi kwanza nashukuru Mungu sababu kama si Mungu hiyo course si rahisi na si gumu pia. But ukiwa na Mungu na ujiamini yote inawezekana. Kosi ya leo naweza sema ni mzuri sababu haikuwa na matope ndio hata matope inakuanga mzuri kwa cross country but challenges zimekuwa za mlima pamoja na tires naweza sema ziko tu sawa tena pia kuna ile kujiamini sababu hakika mimi nilikuwa nataka cross country lakini sijajua nitaingia na wapi so vile nimetoka Tunisia juzi nilipata silver na sikujua kuamua nitaamua nini ni 2 kilometers ama ni 10 kilometers but vile tulikana na my coach Alex tukakaa tukaona opportunity yenyewe iko ni kwa 2 kilometers na hivi ndivyo we are here now congratulations and all the best so um, that is Virginia Nyambura she's fresh from winning a silver medal in from the African Cross Country Championship and now she's happy that she's made it for the World Cross Country that will be held in Belgrade later next month and she's saying that she had a really hard time deciding whether she would go to compete in the 10 kilometer or in the 2 kilometer race and now she's happy that her coach uh, Alexan advised her to make uh, to compete in the 2 kilometer over to you Greg a charity for that beautiful interview and of course we are heading towards the business end of the um, races here at the Ruiru prison staff training college and of course we are waiting for the start of the two kilometer men's race which will be the last race of the day uh, before we see who's made it to team Kenya for the world cross country championships remember in the two kilometers race i'm informed that one two three position one two three will be the ones to flag to fly the kenyan flag high so we await as you can see on your screen the start of the two kilometers men's race the last event of the day just one lap across the course it is uh, for the me, uh, for the men's and women's two kilometer race. Uh, remember, this is a, a two kilometer course. Um, of course, looking to see who's going to represent Kenya in the in the relays. Uh, Virginia, of course, who Charity just interviewed a while ago, is a member of uh, the Kenyan team that won uh, the 2015 IAAF World Relays. Breaking the African record for the distance in the process, in the male relay. Um, and of course, a gold medalist in the steeplechase in 2010 Summer Olympics, Youth Olympics. As we wait for the men's team as well, uh, with the top three being given the opportunity to represent Kenya in the mixed relays. Um, a competition where um, which causes a lot of excitement really uh, remember when Mary Mora competed against um, a Brazilian at the Nyaya National Stadium where she I think that's when Mary Mora really made a name for herself and she's picked up from then and she's never been the Mary Mora that we saw that day. Yeah, that was in the World Junior Athletics Championships held at the Kasarani Stadium yeah, in 2017. And it was the 4x4 four four mixed relays. And of course, he beat the man himself, one of the best hurdlers over the 400 meters, that is Dos Santos. 
a very good athlete from Brazil and it was a turning point in Mary Moraes season uh, that was the track but now we are talking about the course that is the the, 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 the cross country here it's quite a different uh, field you look at these athletes some of them uh, use this to propel themselves towards the, the start of the season and I can see the likes of Vivian Chariot, former Olympic champion over the 10,000 meters. She is, she looks to be in shape, yeah? And hopefully we'll be seeing her um, in action very soon because there are plenty of uh, activities lined up, including the All Africa Games uh, trials later on. Uh, Vivian Chariot, one of the greatest names ever come from this part of the world in terms of long distance athletics in the 5,000 meters we're talking about the 10,000 meters remember very well what she did in Rio 2016 her together with Helen O'Beary beating Alma Zayana that was quite some race and uh, uh, some good memories that she's brought uh, that is Vivian Chariot and uh, she took um, maternal leave and she's back and you can see she's in coming back and of course we'll be waiting to see what she is capable of doing. of the two kilometer race that begins in a bit and of course uh, we'll be <laughs> we'll be waiting to hear what um, is in store uh, we'll be talking about Rio 2016 and of course we'll be looking forward to hear what each athlete has to say and some of the names to look forward to, uh, Steve, in the two kilometers um, men's race. Of course, Kenya still holds the world title. Yeah, we have Emmanuel Wanyonyi as among the athletes here, uh, the 800 meters uh, specialist here. Uh, of course, he'll be looking to get that t uh, ticket to go to represent Kenya in the relays. Uh, Emmanuel Wanyonyi, I am sure he will be among the fav favorites here alongside the likes of Matthew Kipsang and uh, Stanley Waithaka so it's a very very good field here today <coughs> and you do expect um, uh, these athletes really to go the distance and give it their all the young and the old, the experienced versus the amateurs here it's a clean field here today um, everyone will be looking to put their name out there as we wait for the athletes to go to the starting line, uh, which is going to be the last event here today at the Kenya Prison Staff Training College in Rido. And the athletes, I can see, are bossing their way towards the start, starting line here uh, with a lot of heat and sun really on top of their heads. Uh, but the good thing, it only takes you one lap on the course and you are good to go. Uh, just to again highlight for you some of the athletes here, we have Den <coughs> from Kenya Defense Forces, Dennis Rono, Ezekiel Letaya, Kyumbe Mungoti, Kennedy, Kosge and Kiprugut Boaz. Uh, from KWH, we have Matthew Kipsang and Sila Kiprorid. And also from Nairobi region, uh, we have Wesley Langat, Abel Kimutai, and Timothy Kimutai Rono from National Youth Service. From North Rift, we have Dennis Kips Kip Kosgei and Shadrach Kibone. And then from Southern region, we have Vincent Langat, Amos Ndote, James Musembi, and Levi Kipkurui. Just a few names here uh, of some of the athletes uh, who are who've just lined up in readiness for the men's two kilometers. Mulemi, take it away.
You look at Kenya Defense Forces, the likes of Peter Mwaniki, Dismas Lokoria, Kibi Watkandie, of course, Wesley Yego, Wilson To, Vincent Mutai, uh, another name to watch out for, uh, Geoffrey Kip Korir, um, Kip Kurui Korir. Um, from Nairobi region, we have the likes of Amos Kirui, another experienced runner, uh, together with Ronald Kwemoi, uh, Gideon Kipiotich, Edwin Bett from the National Police Service, Robert Kiprop, Naibei Kiplimo. Um, some of the main uh, names to watch out to. And that's the start of the two kilometer senior men's race and of course three at top athletes in this rapid one lap race will be uh, representing the country uh, in the mixed relays to be held later on uh, during the World Cross Country Championships and just to look at the likes of Emedi Kiplimo, Emmanuel Wanyoni, Regan Kipkorir, Gideon Muoki, Dennis Rona. It's one lap, rapid and fast. Very, very, very competitive, very intense, of course. Look at the likes of Amos Ndote, Joseph Musembi, John Mbidio. It's very, 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 and that straight along in the lead, uh, that is Ezekiel uh, Letayua, uh, as they take that, uh, ha, they, as they take the hill towards that flat surface in this one. So Letayua currently in the lead is a really, really, really fast athlete there. Reynold Kip career also uh, in that one. So this is something that we can say that you don't know who is coming in with what motive because all of them are very, very competitive athletes. So Reynold Kip career already showing signs of what to expect here. So Abel Kip Sang, Reynold Kip career and of course Ezekiel Letaya. And you find that most of these athletes are 1,500 meter specialists. And this just tells you that this is a race that you never know what to expect. But this is the two kilometers main race, the last event of the day. Abel Kipsang, of course, a name to watch. They're currently in the lead together with Reynold. Asbel Kiprop also in this one. So this is turning to be a very competitive field. Remember, only three slots available. So Ronald, Reynold Kip Korir, Abel Kip Sang. This is still very, very, very close to call. Remember, it's just one lap. If you miss out, then no second chances. And that is Emmanuel Wanyoni in his trademark fashion taking the hill. And you can feel that he looks strong just ahead of M. Ezekiel Letayua. That is Emmanuel Wanyoni in front, uh, currently in second place. That's Emmanuel Wanyoni currently in second place. Reynold Kip Korir in third place. It's Reynold Kip Korir in the lead, sorry, with Emmanuel Wanyoni in second. And then Kenya Defense Forces, Rono. So Wanyoni takes the lead for the second time in this lap. So it's my Emmanuel Wanyoni. Reynold Kip Korir. As you look at those beautiful images showing us the surrounding here at the Kenya Prison Staff College. The spectators also having a good time here, also taking uh, running uh, on the course. And that is Reynold Kip Korir taking the bend after the tires. 
Emmanuel Wanyonyi in second. Abel Kipsang currently in third place. And that is that is Reynold Kip Career stretching that lead ahead of Wanyonyi. He is being cheered on. Reynold Kip Career of National Police Service coming towards the last stage of this one. He is in the com in a very comfortable lead, by the way, and of course he'll be winning this one very very comfortable. That is uh, Reynold Kip Career from National Police Service coming home to win the two kilometer race, Emmanuel Onyonyi will finish and claim second place. Very, very comfortable there. You must say during the last uh, 200 kilometers, he found the power that was needed uh, to power away from Emmanuel Wanyonyi, who we know from his exploits in the World Championships uh, that he has that finishing power. But Reynold Kiporir uh, would give them no chance here as he powers home uh, to win the men's uh, two-kilometer race here. A very good uh, contest really between the top three uh, with um, uh, Reynold Kiporir and Emmanuel Wanyonyi actually exchanging the, the leads uh, a couple of times. But I felt um, Kip, uh, Reynold just looked like uh, he had a bit more inside him and that is actually what pushed him to the finish line as he wins the men's two kilometer and grabs a chance even when Yonyi does grab a chance to represent Kenya in the mixed relays in Belgrade at the end of, of this month and that really marks the end of uh, the competition here today uh, but do uh, we have um, a chat with uh, Emmanuel Wanyonyi as well as Reynold Kipkori just to get to establish really how they made it here today. Uh, but I, I guess that was really one of the best ways you could conclude the competition here. Of course, they say short and sweet. Uh, the two kilometer race, uh, that's the men's race. Finishing off the day, this day in style, of course, we've been here at the Kenya Prison Staff Training College in Ruiru, bringing you every bit of action from the six kilometers women in the morning followed by the eight kilometers men's under 20 and then we came to the 10 kilometers senior men and women races where we've seen very 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 good competition especially in the ladies category where Agnes Rengeruk and of course Geoffrey Camerol stamping his authority making sure that he pushes uh, the likes of Ishmael Kirui towards achieving what they want but it's been a great day of athletics and of course coming up also is the uh, trials for the all africa games later on in the week that's on tuesday and wednesday be ready for another great day of uh, track i'm looking forward to it same here uh, that's on tuesday and wednesday um, at the nyayo national stadium in nairobi uh, of course we'll be expecting a big list of athletes uh, to compete for that as well, uh, the African Games. Uh, remember that um, Kenya has always performed well there uh, due to the caliber of athletes that we have. And of course, it all begins here with the qualifying games happening at the Nyaya National Stadium next week. So make a point to join us on Tuesday and Wednesday. Of course, we'll be bringing you the action live on Facebook and YouTube. Um, but nothing really excites than the human eye. Uh, so we do encourage you to come to the stadium next, next week. Internationally. And as we wait for charity to grab uh, Mr. Reynold uh, so that we can hear from him, uh, just for him to tell us how he managed to beat Emmanuel Wanyonyi, who I'm sure when his name was put on the start list, everyone knew that he was going to be the favorite. But such is the nature of competitive 
sports that uh, sometimes the favorites don't always win. But victory was not needed here today, really. I uh, just needed to be in the podium, which um, Wanyonyi managed to. And of course, we do thank you for joining us for live commentary um, of these national cross country championships here at the Kenya Prison Staff Training College in Ruiru. The championship here today, we've gotten the team of men and women who will fly Kenya's flag in Belgrade in, on the 30th, where of course Kenya will be looking to defend the men's senior title, but also be looking to gain individual title for that. And of course also the women's team will be looking to continue their dominant performance with Kenya expected to contest for honors alongside Ethiopia as has been the case over the years and of course Uganda also coming in strongly and of course the home team as well I'm sure they'll put athletes forward and with the support they'll be getting they'll be looking to gain some medals in it but it's really Kenya versus Ethiopia versus Uganda as far as the men's race is concerned in Belgrade later this month. Uh, Mulemi, I don't know, you feel like um, you've gotten really the best here? Uh, definitely the best have to carry the day and of course uh, afterwards we'll be seeing who's selected to represent the country at the World Cross Country Championships later on in Belgrade, the Serbia. So it's been a very, very wonderful day here at the Ruiru Prison Staff Training College in the outskirts of Nairobi, bringing you all the actions at the National Cross Country Championships. From all of us, the rest of the crew, charity, um, and everyone else who made this uh, production a success. It's bye-bye for now, but we are not cutting back live the link because there's plenty to come up, including the team naming from us. It's bye-bye.
So once again, ladies and gentlemen, there are some key organizations we want to appreciate. Anti-Doping Agency of Kenya, ADAC, through Sarah Shibutse. We want to appreciate your work because you are here to make sure that everybody runs clean. Everybody runs clean, our athletes stay clean, and we have a clean sport. ADAC, Anti-Doping Agency of Kenya, headed by Madam Sarah Shibutse, who is seated there. We appreciate your work. Thank you. Tunaomba wafuatao mwje kwa zawadi tafadhali tunaitwa mwito wa mwisho Virginia Nyambura, Masi Wanjiru, Purity Chepkurui, Lois Chemnu, Agnes Mwikali na vile vile Miriam Mchero mwje kwa zawadi. Washindi wa kilomita kumi senior men Sebastian Sawe, Samuel Chim Chebunei, Gideon Runo, Geoffrey Kamoroi, Benson Kiblagad na vile vile Ishmael Rokito mwje kwa zawadi. Team, team managers, Central Rift, South Rift, na vile vile Nairobi. Washindi wa kilomita nane upande wa wanaume chini ya umri wa miaka ishirini, karibia wa karibu maali tuna Tangazia, mwje kwa zawadi, Samuel Kibati, University Charles Rotich, North Rift, Matthew Kipruto, Johan Erot, Shadrach Rono, na vilevile Gideon Kimmetich, uje kwa zawadi tafalani. Kuja karibu na maali kwa kumalizia mbio, araka yuweze kanavyo tafalani, wa shindi wa kilomita sita upani. Nadada, chini ya wendo ni mamiaka ishirini, mwujo kazawati, mwujo wa mwisho, Shaila Chepet, Dipora Chemtai, Nazi Chero, Mazi Chepkemoni, Diana Cherotich, na vilevile Diana Chepkemoni, mwujo kazawati, 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 Kilomita kumi, wafatao waje kwa zawadi, Agnes Chebet, Emakili Kenyango, Lilian Kasait, Beatrice Chebet, Margaret Chelimo, na mlebile Cynthia Chemgeno, mwje kwa zawadi. Team Manager, Team Manager KDF, National Police Service, na mlebile Kenya Prison Service, mwje kwa zawadi. Asan Kedi.
Wakubali mwito wako karubani kae Wakubali mwito wako karubani kae Dunia baba Haizu ni machatizo ya dunia baba Nangigia kwenye ba Kazi ya ke kuomba bia Nangigia kwenye ba Kazi ya ke kuomba bia Asante sana Asante Asante sana Asante sana Asante sana South Rift, North Rift na Central Rift wamefika. Ah, wajafika. Basi tunaendelea na wale wako tayari. Na trophies, tunaanza trophies. Tunaanza na 10 km senior women team manager. Team manager tunaanza. Timu ya tatu ilikuwa Kenya Prison Service. Timu ya pili Team manager cost, team manager cost kwa haraka sana unahitaji kama mahali tunatangazia. Team manager cost tafadhali uje mahali tunatangazia. Disconnect. I ten kilometer junior, ten kilometer senior, ten kilometer. Na KDF namba moja waelekee kwenye jukwaa mara moja ili uweze kupewa zawadi. Shuelekee hiyo timu tumetaja. Kuja kuja kuja. Si women 10 km women. Waelekee. KDF walikuwa washindi na alama 37 National Police Service alama 43 na Kenya Prison Service alama 78. Waelekee kwa zawadi. Aya men wakaribie 10 km men nafasi ya, ya kwanza Central Rift nafasi ya pili South Rift na nafasi ya tatu Nairobi This is 10 km women please Basi uh, tungeomba timu hizo ziweze kupanda jukwaa nafasi ya tatu Kenya Prison Service Kenya Prison Service wapanda jukwaa Kenya Prison Service wapanda jukwaa nafasi ya tatu nafasi ya pili National Police Service na washindi ni KDF kuwakabidhi washindi zawadi tutakuomba kwa heshima uh, Chief Executive Officer wa Lotto Foundation uh, Dr. John Mwaora kwa heshima yako uweze kuwakabidhi washindi zawadi ukisindikizwa kwenye jukwaa la zawadi na athlete representative madam Milka Chemos Madam Milka Chemos uweze kumsindikiza Dr. Joan 
Mwaora ambaye ni Chief Executive Officer wa Loto Foundation. Milka Chemos. Basi Tanu ya na msindikiza. Nafasi ya tatu ilikuwa Kenya, Poli, uh, Kenya Prison Service na alama sabini na nane. Napewa wa kikombe yake hapo ni kwa upande wa kinadada. Nafasi ya pili National Police Service alama arubaini na tatu. Upande wa kinadada 10 kilometers. Na washindi mwaka huu 2024 ni timu ya majeshi KDF alama 37 wapigeni makofi. Ndio aliweza kwenda na ushindi kwa upande wa kinadada. Basi tunaomba picha ya ukumbusho hapo kwa wenye ambao wamepata zawadi hiyo. Basi 10 km senior men Asante sana Dr. Joan Mwaora ambaye ni Loto Foundation CEO 10 km senior men nafasi ya kwanza Central Rift nafasi ya pili South Rift nafasi ya tatu Nairobi waelekee kwenye jukwaa Basi nafahamisho kwa kabidhi wa shindi zawadi tutakomba kwa heshima mgeni rasmi siku ya leo ambaye ni Commissioner General Prisons Retired Brigadier John Warioba kwa heshima yako ukubali kwa kabidhi wa shindi zawadi ukisindikizwa na Senior Vice President wa chama cha riadha nchini Paul Mutui Nafasi ya tatu ni timu ya Nairobi na alama hamsini na nane. Nairobi panda jukwa. Nafasi ya pili ni timu ya South Rift. Wakiwa na alama arubaini na tano. Wapigeni makofi. Na washindi mwaka huu mwaka elfu mbili shirina ne si wengine. Ni Central Rift na alama kumina nane. Pigeni makofi Central Rift. Basi tunaomba picha ya ukumbusho kwa Commissioner Jeno ameingia hapo maridadi kabisa uh, kuweza kupigwa hiyo picha ya ukumbusho kwa washindi wa kilomita kumi senior men. Six meter, under 20, South Rift, Central Rift, Western, six kilometer, six kilometer, eight kilometer, under 20s, South Rift, North Rift, na Central Rift, eight kilometer, ni men, South Rift, North Rift, na Central Rift. Kama hawako karibu basi tunaweza kufunga chapter ya vikombe. Tungeomba wale Fatik waweze kuondoa Haya 8 km under 20 men wako tayari Haya mwelekee kwenye jukwaa la zawadi muende mara moja Nafasi ya tatu ilikuwa Central Rift na 80 points. Nafasi ya pili North Rift 54 points. Na nafasi ya kwanza South Rift 38 points. Mwelekee kwa zawadi. Kwa kabidhi e, zawadi uh, tutakuomba kwa heshima uh, General Murunga kwa heshima yako ukubali retired General Murunga 
kubali kwa kabidhi washindi zawadi ukisindikizwa na senior assistant commissioner general of prisons bwana Arandu ambaye ni vice chairman athletics kenya prisons bwana Arandu tafadhali ma yuko karibu basi anakimbizwa anasindikizwa hapo na deputy commissioner general prisons ambaye ni bwana Aluda ambaye pia vile vile ni ni Kenya Prison Sports Council chairman nafasi ya tatu Central Rift na alama 80 wapande jukwaa Central Rift 8 km under 20 nafasi ya pili North Rift alama 54 Washindi walikuwa South Rift wakiwa na alama 38 wapigeni makofi Basi tutakuomba saa mpigwe picha ya ukumbusho Thank you sir Picha ya ukumbusho Washindi wa 6 km under 20 South Rift, Central Rift na Western. Western. Waje mara moja. Western. Western kama wananisikiza waje mara moja tuwape kikombe tuweze kumaliza kipindi cha zawadi. Western. Western wamefika? Western. Western. South Rift, Central Rift na Western. Western hawako karibu. Western Region. Bwana afundi, Western Region. Western Afundi. Western Region. Bwana Kioko, team manager Western. Bwana Kioko. Ama Madam Frida. Waje kwa zawadi Western. AK AK mtu mmoja wa AK we stand in bwana Tanui tafadhali simamia western please so that we can uh, move ahead manake ya time aya western 42 points wa LK nafasi ya tatu central rift nafasi ya pili na south rift nafasi ya kwanza south rift number one, waende mbele central rift katikati na western nyuma Western ndio wale enda songeni songeni mara moja Wachezaji wale walikuwa top 6 mkuje hapa karibu na finishing mtapewa baasha yenu Basi Western kama hawajafika ni wewe tanui tafadhali custodian weke Western zawadi yao kwa kabidhi washindi zawadi tutakuomba kwa heshima Lieutenant uh, General Retired Opande kwa heshima yako ambaye ni trustee wa AK uweze kwa kabidhi washindi ukisindikizwa na mwenyekiti wa chama cha riadha katika magereza Senior Assistant Commissioner General Prisons bwana Nicholas Maswai asi huyo ni trustee wa Athletics Kenya Lieutenant General Retired Uh, bwana opande kwenda kwa kabidhi washindi zawadi nafasi ya tatu walikuwa western wapande jukwaa western tanui western nafasi ya tatu western wapande jukwaa watapata kikombe au huko ak watawekewa hakuna shida na 42 points western
Nafasi ya pili walikuwa timu ya Central Rift alama 28. Central Rift alama 28. Na washindi ni timu ya South Rift alama 20. South Rift wapanda juu pigeni makofi team manager wa South Rift hapo wakipata zawadi. Basi bwana Kimeto wakati huu Kimeto unahitajika Bwana Kimeto Sasa utatuongoza kwa hiyo program nyingine maana sasa tumemaliza vikombe Kennedy Tanui Kennedy Tanui utatuongoza kwa kipindi kingine ambacho kimesalia Kikombe ya Western Kennedy Tanui tafadhali thank you sir Basi asante sana bwana Mwaniki Hivi sasa tunaelekea kipindi kingine ambapo tuna tunatarajia tuna kwamba tutakuwa na timu yetu ya kuwakilisha Kenya kule World Cross Country na hivi sasa nitamwalika bwana Kimeto John Kimeto executive member Athletics Kenya kwa niapa ya senior vice president wetu kuja kutangaza rasmi timu yetu ya Kenya karibu bwana Kimeto Asante sana. Thank you very much Kennedy Danui. Tanui. Um, mgeni wetu wa heshima uh, Commissioner General of Prisons retired uh, Brigadier Warioba John and all the other guests. I will uh, just straight away do what I've been called upon to do. Uh, I'm going to name Team Kenya who are going to represent us in the World Cross Country at the end of the month of March. I'm going to start with the, the relay teams. Uh, two kilometer women, two kilometer women, na nitawauliza waweze kuja kusimama mgeni wa heshima, haweze kuwaona, kisha waweze kuregea kurudi katika viti vyao. I request them to come and stand for the chief guests to be able to see them so that they can be able to go back again to sit after that. Two kilometer women, Virginia Nyambura, National Police Service. Number two, Masi Wanjiru, KDF. Number three, Purity Chepkirui, South Rift. Tuwa pigie makofi wanadada hawa. Uh, two kilometers men, we have Reynold Chiriot, National Police Service. Reynold Chiriot, National Police Service. Emmanuel Wanyonyi, Central Rift. Emmanuel Wanyonyi, Central Rift. And finally, Kyumbe Munguti, Kenya Defense Forces. To apigie makofi. Then, six kilometer uh, junior women. Uh, Sheila Chebet, Central Rift. Deborah Chemutai, South Rift. Nancy Cherop, Western. Masi Chepkemoi, South Rift. Diana Acherotich, North Eastern. Diana Achepkemoi, South Rift. The next is the eight kilometer a junior men. Number one is Samuel Kibadi, Universities. Number two is Charles Rotich, North Rift. 
Number three is Matthew Kipkoesh, Northeastern. Tuopigia Makofi, Northeastern. Number four is Joanna Erot, North Rift. Number five, Shadrach Rono, South Rift. Number six, Kition Kimgatich. Ten kilometer as senior women, Agnes Chebet, Central Rift. Immaculate Anyango, Nairobi. Lillian Kasait, Kenya Police Service. Kenya Prison Service, Samahani. Beatrice Chebet, National Police Service. Margaret Chelimo, National Police Service. And finally, Cynthia Chemgetich, KBS. Ten kilometer a senior men, which is the final uh, team, is led by Sebastian Sawe, Central Rift. Natuapigia makofi, ile jua ilikuwa kali sana. Eh? Tuashangilia hawa ndi watatuakilisha katika mbio za nyika za kiuli mwengu kule ngambo mwisho wa mwezi huu. Samuel Chebolei, Nyansa North. Gideon Rono, Central Rift. Geoffrey Kamoror, National Police Service. Benson Kiblangat, South Rift. And finally, Ishmael Rogito, Central Rift. Guest of honor, before I sit down, uh, allow me to read the officials who are going, the top officials who are going to lead this team. And it will be led by team manager Matthew Lenamunai, KDF chairman, Athletics Kenya uh, defense chairman. Team manager Brigadier Matthew Lenamunai, KDF chairman, Karibu Sana chairman. Uh, congratulations, Pongezi. Assistant Team Manager, Answat Maragara, Chairman Eastern. Asante Sana, that is Team Kenya, and I take back the, and I now call upon the Chairman of uh, Prisons, uh, Mr. Maswai, to be able to come and make his remarks as we continue. Bas nimejulishwa, nimejulishwa kwamba pengine nime kuna jina mbalo lazima niweke the head coach of this team. After naming the team manager and the assistant team manager, I think it is prudent to name the head coach who is going to spearhead the training of this team. Ambaye ni Bwana Chirchir. Bwana Chirchir. Ya, karibu sana. Bwana Chirchir from prison service. Asante sana. Now I want to, uh, it's my pleasure to call upon Mr. Maswai to make his remarks and then we can continue. Thank you very much, Chief Guest.
congratulations to the Kenya President for his chair. I wish to take this opportunity to thank you for joining us today. And for the second year running, we have been given an opportunity to host this event. We also, on behalf of the commandant, I wish to welcome you all here. Sir, we want to thank you for enabling us accomplish this uh, task of organizing this event. The Commissioner General, you gave us all the support. You gave us uh, time off from our normal duties. Change. You gave us the resources within our disposal to be able to organize, host, and accommodate all the athletes in this uh, uh, college. We want to thank also the regional chairman for having organized these teams, and you are here on time. The athletes also, you are able to uh, accompany uh, the team managers, you are able to accompany your teams. And uh, we have not had any problem. As you leave, we want to thank you, go back, take our greetings, and we do hope that Athletics Kenya will give us an opportunity again to host this event. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Senior Assistant Commissioner General of Prisons, Bwana Maswai, who is also the Chairman, Athletics Kenya, Kenya Prison Service. At this juncture, guest of honor, I want to welcome, on behalf of Athletics Kenya, who are the bona fide hon owners of this team now. I want to welcome the Senior Vice President, Athletics Kenya, Bwana Paul Mutui, who will in turn recognize his sponsors who have co-hosted this event and talk on behalf of Athletics Kenya. Senior Vice President Paul Mutui. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Bwana uh, Maso Ceremonies, our Chief Guest, uh, Commissioner General of Prisons, uh, other invited guests all together, uh, ladies and gentlemen, right over here, I am standing in place of my president, the president of uh, Athletics Kenya, who requested me to come and give his apologies that he could be with us uh, during this very important uh, function of Athletics Kenya, simply because he's away on another kind of very important function as the Vice President of World Athletics. Uh, currently, there is a world event that's taking place, and in fact, we have some athletes right over there taking part. That is the INIDO uh, competitions, World, a world Championship. And being the vice president, it was a must that he should be in attendance. And he requested me to come, uh, stand here on his behalf, and the rest of the Kenyan Athletics Fraternity. So I think I'm understood that way. And then I say, he told me to come and greatly uh, give a case, uh, a kind of acceptance that uh, this event, the prisons has uh, been able to uh, accept to host the national championship uh, on a second time because we were here last year for the first time. And uh, he told me that we should not be taking it for granted uh, so that uh, accepting to host us we take it very seriously that it is a great honor. I would like also to 
say that uh, we appreciate the Minister of, uh, of Sports. I think I have been told that there is no Minister of Sports as such. He is the Minister of Youth Affairs, uh, Creative Economy, and uh, very many words right over there. Uh, so that uh, they have been of a very great assistance to us. Like uh, last, just last week, we had a team that uh, the ministry had sponsored. Uh, it was a cross country representing uh, Kenya uh, during the Africa uh, cross country championships in Tunis, Tunisia. The ministry uh, sponsored uh, AK throughout in uh, every kind of penny and uh, we are very thankful uh, so that now we are requesting that uh, the same uh, kind of aspect now continues uh, because we have this team in front of us uh, see the same assistance at least to be given to us secondly we also have sponsors who try to uh, assist us during the organization and uh, we have to thank them like we have lot of foundation absa bank and coca-cola we are very thankful that that uh, you have been coming forward and uh, assisting us to organize events like this one so that now that uh, we have come to the end of it i would like to say that the prisons uh, department this is a very great honor to us as athletes kenya and uh, that is like we are trying to find a way of um, uh, getting a cross-country team for africa uh, countries to come for competitions here during the next coming few years uh, we may bring them here, but that one will come up for a discussion when the time comes. Otherwise, as for now, I would like to appreciate so much uh, the prisons department and uh, particularly uh, Mr. Maswai here together with his team who were almost camping over here to make uh, the route and the other kind of organizations uh, to be the way they looked like and uh, of course they could not have done this without the permission that they had gotten from the prison's head quarters and uh, the commissioner we are very much thankful uh, for your accepting to get us come over here otherwise finally uh, the athletes whom you are seeing in front over here they are now going to get ready uh, to represent uh, the country during the World Championships in Serbia. And uh, we are going to inform you, the athletes, when you are going to come to camp and exactly where you are going to come to that camp. So immediately after the whole uh, function is over, uh, don't take off. Uh, immediately we will inform you all about that so with this much i would like to request uh, mr evans achoki to come in front and speak on behalf of the ministry and invite our chief guest please mr achoki asantensa Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mutui, the Vice President of Athletics Kenya, our Chief Guest, the Commissioner General of the Kenya Prison Service, Brigadier Retired John Warioba, the Athletics Kenya officials present here, the, the Chief Executive Officer of the Athletics Kenya, I mean of the ADAC Anti-Doping Agency of Kenya, Madam Sarah Shibutse, the CEO of the Lotto Foundation, uh, the CEO of Athletics Kenya, and the patron of Athletics Kenya, our athletes, Team Kenya, good afternoon.
My name is Evan Sachoki. I work in the Ministry of uh, Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and uh, Sports. And so I bring regards from the Cabinet Secretary for Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, Honorable Babu Namwamba. I convey his regards to this gathering. Do you accept his regards? I also convey regards from the Principal Secretary of Sport, State Department of Sport, Engineer Peter Toom. Both of them would have loved to be here, but uh, due to other duties, they are not able to be here, so they asked me to represent them in this event. I just want to make two remarks. First, I want to congratulate Team Kenya that has won and are going to represent Kenya in the World Cross Country Championship in Belgrade. I want to congratulate you and urge you to train hard so that you can win gold medals, silver and bronze. When I looked at you resting here, I saw a lot of potential in winning these uh, gold medals. So please train hard and compete clean so that you can win these medals and bring glory and honor to Kenya. Secondly, I would like to thank the local organizing committee for putting together a team that has organized this event that has been able to name the team that is going to compete in our in Belgrade at the end of the of the match and so as a ministry of sports we our work is to identify the talents to nurture the talents and ensure that athletes earn from their talents so we'll continue to do that we will continue to do the to support the federations so that they can our local athletes can compete locally and internationally so that they can be identified and then they can earn from their talent with those remarks it is now my great pleasure to invite the commissioner general and make his remarks. Wabi Makofi, Moja, Billy, Tatu, Karibu Commissioner. Thank you very much. You know, <coughs> Evans is a seasoned administrator. That is why he's the one who brought the, the, the concept of Makofi. Uh, Mr. Joki from the ministry, who is uh, in charge of matters of sport. The senior vice president of AK Kenya, Mr. Mutui. All AK officials, both national and branch, at branch levels. Our loyal sponsor, the Lotto Foundation led by the CEO, Dr. Joan Maura, the ADAC CEO, and I wish to, in a special way, to recognize the presence of the two generals uh, who are here, General Panda and General Mrunga. When uh, these are uh, officers who mentored some of us when we are still young, I have a special attachment to them. General Panda was the commandant of Armed Forces Training College when I was a cadet 40 years ago. I later worked under him in... Uh, the United Nations mission in Namibia, when I was a young officer, still handsome young man. Uh, so we have a very special attachment with them. General Murunga is an alumni of the Royal Defence College in the UK, Seaford House. He was in the class of 1994, and I was in the class of 2011, 2012. So we have a commonality with us. We are all alumni of the same uh, college. And they love uh, sports. No wonder General Pande is the patron of uh, AK. I also wish to recognize all the uh, 
So I want to, to, to recognize all the athletes and uh, all those who have been invited for this event. I want to start by congratulating all the athletes who participated here today, because without them, we would have not had any winner. So people had to come here to compete, so I want to congratulate you. Secondly, I want to congratulate all those who have won and those who, has, who have not won. One thing that I want to urge you, ladies and gentlemen, you young people, one thing that I want you to leave this place with is remain disciplined as athletes. Athletics is as old as the human race. If you read the Bible, there were serious athletes uh, that maybe some of you did not read, including Jesus himself. Jesus was a great athlete. Jesus, David, Samson, Peter, these are great athletes, so you are not the first ones. So don't run around here thinking that you are the first one. No, Jesus was the first athlete that is ever known. So he's known for very many firsts. Now the other day I went into the village and one old man told me that probably if I was a commissioner general during the times of Jesus, he could have been in my prison because he's the first known brewer. You no, know, he, he turned uh, water into wine. And that drunkard was telling me that the alcohol content in the wine is more than the alcohol content in the normal beer. I didn't know that. So he told me that if I was there, that the Commissioner General, probably Jesus would have been one of my clients today. So remain disciplined. Discipline is key. You cannot win anything if you are not disciplined. You can't run clean if you are not disciplined. And I want you to work as a team. I want to congratulate NYS for participating in this uh, event for the first time. That is good. And I want to welcome you. Brigada Lemunai, I sympathize with you because last year, Prisons was given the leadership of this team when they went to Austria. You can read the record as to where we brought the, the team. So I sympathize with you. To maintain it is more difficult than starting. We were down there, but we brought it up there. I don't know whether you are going to maintain it. You are my friend. You can always pay me a cut as a call in the, 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 in the, the office. I'll give you, the officer who led this team, we can give you a few tips. Because we have been given young men here who are able, and the ladies who are able to bring us a very good uh, uh, resource. You run clean. You are still young. The sky is the, 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 the limit for you. Change your attitude. I was a bit uh, disappointed. Some of you have won uh, prizes here, but you are not anywhere near to come and pick your prizes. I, I don't know why we, you came here. Because it's, surely if you came to win, it meant that you came to win and you'd be awarded. And the AK was ready to award you, but you are not where. Uh, the announcer, announcer kept on calling names and nobody came to pick the prizes. I don't know what you are going to do with them. So that is a sign of some lack of discipline somewhere on the part of the athletes and on the part of the team managers. Because if you are a team manager, you brought a team all the way from Nyanza, and you have, even the team managers were called forward to come and pick the prices for, in behalf of this, and they were nowhere. That is too disappointing. So Mwek, if you are still young Mwek, but if you know you cannot go to represent this country, then you, can, you better give up my payment to CC20, as old as we are, because we must appear there. So I want to thank the commandant of uh, this college for hosting us. It is good to host this event here, that is what I've realized, because when you host it here, you get other services that you would not have gotten if you were hosted in somewhere else, That's like the music. No, you would not have anybody, nobody else has a band that would have entertained us for free. You've seen there's the medical team that was covering, so by hosting it here, I've just realized that is an advantage, an advantage to, 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 to us. I also want to thank the media for being here to cover the, the event. At least you will inform the people. And at the same time, you are marketing these other uh, gentlemen for free. They are not paying you to market them, but at least we write a story for them. So I just want to wish you well, and uh, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, our guest of honor. Uh, we want to ask that uh, the guest of honor will do the proud thing that we we would expect that it be done in in uh, in in Serbia that is to award the first three winners in every category only after your speech sir and right now i want to welcome bwana mwaniki just before the the march passed and we go to plant uh, ceremonial trees just behind here 
uh, the trees will be planted by Athletics Kenya, but belongs to the Kenya Prison Service, sir. Yes, uh, but after Numa to just after, sir. I uh, know for symbolic for them, it's not uh, the guest. Uh, for the athletes, just two, three symbolic ones. Thank you very much. Uh, Karibu Mwaniki, to Tangazie. Only the top three winners, they will come to the podium. And the guest of honor will award the gold, silver, and bronze. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner, sir. Commissioner General, sir. Tunakuomba tena kwa eshima wakabidi wa shindi zawadi. Six kilometer under 20 women. Sheila Chebet, Dibora Chemtai, na Nancy Cherop. Waje maramoja wapewa zawadi na Commissioner General Prison, sambaya ndiyo chief guest wa siku ya leo. Vile vile 8 km wajitearishe, Samuel Kibadhi, Charles Rotich na Matthew Kipkoech wajitearishe. Nafasi ya tatu, Nancy Cherop. Number 3, apande jukua apewe nishani yake, na valishwa medali yake. Number 3, na valishwa nishani yake na pia kupewa zawadi yake kutoka Athletics Kenya. Nafasi ya pili, Dibora Chemtai kutoka South Rift. Na nafasi ya kwanza si mwingine ni Sheila Chebet ambaye anatoka South Rift. Pige ni makofi jamani. Washindi wa 8 km under 20 men nimewaita Araka Waje, Matthew Kipkoech, Charles Rotich na Samuel Kibadhi. Nafasi ya tatu Matthew Kipkoech. Apande jukua Matthew Kipkoech. Nafasi ya pili, Charles Rotich kutoka North Rift. Na mshindi, si mwingine ni Samuel Kibadhi a Public Universities. Uyo kijana wa university. Mpigeni makofi na tutakuomba saa uh, mweze kupigua picha na vijana hao. Tutakuomba saa, weze kuchukua picha. Commissioner General saa, weze kupigua picha na hawa vijana. Ili waweze kupata motisha. Thank you, sir. Aya, chukweni picha. Senior women wajitarisha Agnes Chebet, Emaculate Nyango, na Lilian Kasait. Waje maramoja. Ao, senior women. Senior women, waje maramoja. Senior women. Nafasi ya tatu, uh, Commissioner General Sa, ni mwanariadha wa magereza, Lilian Kasait, Lengeruk. Alikuwa nafasi ya tatu. Nafasi ya pili ni Immaculate Anyango, Nairobi. The second fastest woman in 10 km in the world, ndiyo huyo, mpigeni makofi. Na the fastest woman in the world in 10 km, record holder Agnes Chebet, agikimbili ya Central Rift. Mpigeni makofi. Ten km senior men, uh, Sebastian Sawe, Samuel Chebole, Gideon Rono, waje maramoja. Ten km. Sebastian Sawe, Samuel Chebole na Gideon Rono. Wale wengine 456 mtapewa zawadi yenu msiondoke baadaye. Nafasi ya tatu, Gideon Rono wa Central Rift. Pigeni makofi nafasi ya pili Samuel Chebole Nyanza North. Na mshindi ni World Half Marathon Champion na ambaye pia ndiyo bingwa wa mwaka huu wa mbio za cross country Sebastian Sawe akikimbilia aki timu ya Central Rift. Pigeni makofi. Is a world champion in World Half Marathon. Washindi wa 2 km Araka Araka Virginia Nyambura Masi Wanjiru na Piruti Chepkurui. Waje mara moja. Virginia Nyambura Masi Chepkurui na Purity Chepkurui. Masi Wanjiko. Wan, Masi Wanjiko. Number three. Purity Chepkurui. Kutoka Central Rift. Purity. Nafasi ya, tar, ya pili. Masi Wanjiro. Na mshindi ni Virginia Nyambura wa National Police Service. Masi Wanjiru ni wa KDF. Pigia picha. 
ya ukumbusho piga picha ya ukumbusho top 3 in 2 km men Ronald Cheriote, Manuel Wanyonyi na Kiumbe Munguti waje mara moja That is the last team sir Tunashukuru kwa kukubali kwa hapa washindi zawadi Wa mwisho sasa nafasi ya tatu Kiumbo Kiumbe Munguti panda jukwa Kijana huyo wa, wa Kenya Defense Forces Nafasi ya pili Emmanuel Wanyonyi ambaye ni bingwa au nishani ya, ya fedha katika michezo ya ulimwengu Manuel Wanyonyi mita 800 na mshindi wa leo ni Ronald Cheriot basi pisha ukumbusho na kushukuru saa kwa kuweza kuwakabidhi washindi zawadi Fatik Group naomba muweze kuondoa zile uh, Sehemu ambayo itazuia band kufanya kazi yake tumpigie makofi mgeni wetu waheshima kwa kukubali kwa kabidhi washindi zawadi Fatih Group Fatih Group tafadhali mweze kuondoa uh, zile vitu ambazo ziko hapo nyuma ili tuweze kuanza sherehe rasmi ya kufunga sherehe ya siku ya leo Asante sana asante sana mwenzangu bwana Mwaneki tunaomba sasa wala ambaye wako mbele wachezaji wetu kuondoka ili bendi yetu iweze kuchukua nafasi rasmi tuweze kutoa bendera na vile vile kufunga rasmi kwa wimbo wa taifa na vile vile wimbo wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki bendi yetu director ukiwa tayari uwanja ni wako wale ambaye waliitwa washindi kuanzia nambari moja mpaka sita mnahitajika muje hapa mahali karibu na mahali tunatangazia kwa zawadi zenu tafadhali tunaomba timu tunaomba mutulie mahali muko timu tunaomba mutulie mahali muko director uwanja ni wako basi mgeni wetu rasmi anayeongoza bendi ya magereza hivi sasa ni drum meja ekopro halima gedi basi mbele kabisa ni drum meja Ekopro Halima Gedi akiongoza hivi sasa bendi tayari kabisa kwa kufunga michezo ya mwaka 2024 National Cross Country Championship ambayo imefanyika katika chuo hiki cha magereza basi kuwakumbusha tu bendi ya magereza inapokutana na bendi zingine katika maonyesho ya kilimo au ushindana mfahari wetu kukufahamisha kwamba katika maonyesho ya kilimo kule Mombasa waliweza kuwa nambari moja 
Kwa hiyo anaipita hivi sasa ni director mwenyewe mgeni wetu rasmi eh, Chief Inspector Prisons bwana Moses Kamau ambaye ndio director mkuu wa bendi hii. Basi nilikuwa nawafahamisha tu walipokuwa katika maonyesho ya kilimo kule Mombasa waliweza kuwa nambari moja na katika maonyesho ya kilimo hapa nchini Nairobi walikuwa namba tatu. Naomba kwa unyenyekevu tusimame tafadhali. ambayo wamevaa kofia ambayo sio rasmi tunawaomba kutoa tafadhali
hivi sasa kuna mmoja anakuja kuomba ruhusa kondoa bendi katika uga huu Naomba tuketi tafadhali and the team which will be representing Kenya in the World Cross Country Championships that is happening on the 30th of March in Serbia. Uh, just to give you a quick wrap on who has made the team, of course we have Reynold Cheruyot who is in the 2 kilometer men, uh, the World Under 20 champion uh, from Cali in the 1500 meters. We have Emmanuel Wanyonyi, of course you know him, uh, the World Silver medalist really in the 800 meters distance for men. And we have also in the 10 kilometer women, I feel which Kenya has really fielded a very strong team, uh, which is headlined by Agnes Kibet, the fastest woman in the world this year. And of course, Immaculate Anyango, who is the second fastest uh, woman in the world this year. And of course, now for the men's t uh, 10 kilometer uh, men, we have Sebastian Sawe, who is the world marathon champion. It's been very competitive, it's been exciting. We hope you've had fun. And of course, we are looking forward to uh, bringing more action for you on YouTube, on Facebook. And we look forward also, of course, to meeting you uh, at the Nyayo National Stadium on Tuesday and Wednesday, where of course, we'll have more athletics happening with the African game style. Uh, trials happening. Uh, I've been, um, it's been a great pleasure really uh, being here with you. I am Steven Ayo. We were in the commentary booth with Gregory Mulemi and we thank you for keeping us um, for keeping us with you from the beginning to the end and we hope uh, that uh, we get to meet again. Thank you so much and a sign out saying goodbye and all the best.